<laughs> All right, I'm going to give you an opportunity to win some uh, money. I've got $500 thanks to our friends at Vermont Teddy Bear. Cool. And they remind you to send your mom or wife a beautiful handmade Vermont Teddy Bear for Mother's Day, 1-800-829-BEAR, or you can shop online at vermontteddybear.com. And uh, not only are you playing for $500, but I'll also throw in a bear. You can get the barefoot and pregnant bear, the mom kicks ass bear, or the angel bear, okay? Cool, thanks. All right, so you'll decide on that. All right, this is called the Bigfoot Couples Match Game. So we say to Bigfoot, Sonny and... What would you say, Robin? Sure. All right. Batman oh. and... Robin. Robin. I was say Sonny and Cloudy. And so you... you're asking Bigfoot these questions, oh. and we have to determine if he comes up with the right part. Uh, that is right. correct. What, do I have to get three out of five or something? You have to get three out of five, yes. Okay. That is correct. So you're telling me Bigfoot can do some of these? I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> hey, uh, Artie, congratulations, by the way, on over 300. Way to go, dude. Wow. Artie now weighs 303 pounds. It's he amazing is... how it's, it's a direct parallel to hitting in baseball. I love that analogy. What are you eating right now? I can tell you're eating. I can hear it. Well, I, I was going to eat. I'm eating chocolate chip cookies, but Benji's grossing me out. Now. What is Benji doing that's grossing you, you out? you got to see what he's eating now because the floodgates are now he's making it's, up for I'm eating time. real slow. Or what? But he's got a banana. It's just the common. The There's something yeah. gross about it. The banana, three hard-boiled eggs, and a immediately, salad. He immediately jumps into gorge mode. I'm not gorging. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to eat all this stuff. I ate a little soup because you have to be really careful. <laughs> three eggs, a trough of But they salad. already ordered my lunch. And I just I might have it. I might not. You gotta save rim badges for your ten. No, no, you have to be. Salad. I probably won't eat all this. Right Is that now. a soup carton too? I had a soup. You have to be. Okay. You have to eat real slow. It. I'm not eating fast. It would be real. You dangerous. know what said? I mean, if you I, I, if you lost another fifty pounds, on that I'm doc, going to. Have the it. doctor just offered you an incredible thing: liposuction. He, absolutely, very cool. And I'm going to. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep dieting. I'm going to keep doing the Solaris. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean you just said it was so easy. Well, well, so the coolest going. thing is that I got into exercise. Is that right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, but you'll be 150 pounds. You're gonna, that, that's a weight you want to be? I think I should be probably anywhere around 170 or below. How wow. tall are you? Uh, I don't know, like 5'8", five, 5'8 eight, five, eight and a half. Yeah, you should, should be around 170, 160. 160. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, when, when I get to one, like, after under 200, which is, a like, really under 200, not just fasting like I did now, I start looking really cute. And then, like, under... Well, I was going to say, don't oh, you want to look like a movie star? Have I ever seen you that thin? Never. When I first started, I, I was probably a little over that. Did you get chicks when you were thin? Yeah, I get chicks now, too. No, I, I, I know chick. you do. You have a chick. But yeah. I'm saying... You got chick. Did you get girls when you were real thin? Y yeah. No. But I was, I was always up and down. I was always up and down. Well, do it. I, that doctor said he could remove all the excess skin, and you need that. Dude. I completely agree with you. And, right. and I, I'm motivated and excited about it. Is that going to help him get to work on time now, or what? I don't know. Yeah. It, sh it should. Uh, should have more energy. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Let's play the game. Batman okay. and... Oh, there it is. Batman and... Will he know the answer, Robin? Jeez, I don't know anything about his level of awareness. Oh, what? Do so you give me the answer? I have to guess if it's right or wrong? No, you have to one, You have to now see if you can match with Bigfoot. Will he say Robin? Uh, I got Okay. All right. Um, I'm assuming yeah. that would be the answer. Right. Um, yeah, I'll say he knows it. You say he knows it. Or I, he could guess what Bigfoot would say, too. And if he's right. Yeah, I didn't, that's what I mean. I well, didn't know I'll, I'm making it easier for him. I'm saying, will he get it or will he? You know, if you want, are you guessing Batman and Robin or anything else? No, I'm guessing Robin. Right. If you want to say that he'll do anything else, I'll accept that. Or as an would answer. he say Batgirl? I mean, I don't know. Or Batroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going with Robin. All right. What do you think, Robin? Do you think he knows it? I haven't a clue because, I mean, we've never asked Bigfoot anything. I, I got to tell you, I can't imagine someone wouldn't know Batman and Robin. What if he says Batman and Spider-Man? That's wrong. Yeah. Superman. All right, here we go. Robin. All right, you All right. know something. You got one right. I'm very Ooh. impressed. One right. Yeah, he seems like a big kid, so you think you'd know that. I don't know. All right, here we go. Here's your second one. All, All right. you need is two more, and you're done. Okay. Singers, Donnie and... Donnie, was... and now you can say Marie, or you could say anything else. What was it, singers? Singers, Donnie singers. and. Yeah. Donnie, Donnie and. and. Oof. The uh... obvious answer would be Donnie and Marie. Or he might say Donnie Osmond. But it was Donnie and. It was Donnie Why would you yeah, say yeah, Donnie yeah. and Osmond? <laughs> Fred, you, you're <laughs> because, a bright guy. Because he's Bigfoot. 
I'm not saying that's the answer. I'm saying that's what he would say. Mm. So are you going to say he can say Marie or not? How, how old is Bigfoot? I'm going to say Bigfoot's in his 30s, isn't he? A older. Maybe a little older. Maybe 40. Uh, all right, yeah. I'll go with, yeah. I'll go with Marie. I am. I don't think he can do this. I don't think so either. You yeah, st- I'll go with Marie. Okay. Clyde? Donnie, Donnie and Clyde. And Clyde. Oh, didn't, Bonnie see and didn't see that coming. You know, remember Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah, he just misheard Donnie. There were, there were two apparently. criminals named Bonnie uh, and Clyde. That didn't count because he didn't understand it. Well, he understood Look, it. Look, it's what he said. No, that counts. I don't think uh, we should be giving this guy the obvious answer. Right, I'm not going to because let's see if he knows. <laughs> All right, here's your next one. Let's see if you know this one, sir. All right. Comedians. Abbott and... Uh, yeah, Costello. All right. Bigfoot's not going to say this, is he? I say there's no chance. He but... might like the show. I don't think he's going to say it. Yeah, he might surprise you. What do you say, sir? I'll say he knows Costello. Okay. Abbott in what? What those other actors? Uh, Mo and Curly. <laughs> Abbott, Mo, and Curly. <laughs> Abbott, Mo, and Curly. <laughs> Oh, Kill me God. with this guy. <laughs> well, you've got two wrong and one right. You would need to get the next two right in order to win the five hundred dollars in the uh, table. Uh, all right. All right here that we go. was funny. Abbott and Moe and Curly. <laughs> what a douchebag. <laughs> TV show Cagney and. Oh, he likes to watch television. He does. Yeah, he watches it all the time. I think. All right. Uh, what do you know? Do you know the answer, sir? I would say Lacey, but I'm going to say he doesn't know Lacey. Okay. Here we go. Lacey. He got it. He watches television. Well, it's Uh, it's an impossibility for you to win, so I've got to... Ah, come on. Give me one more. For the record, I'd love to see a movie with Abbott, Moe, and Curly. (laughs) I think he's onto something. Come on, give me another chance. That would have been great. Abbott, Moe, and Curly meet the Invisible Man. It's a shame Bigfoot wasn't around to pair them up. All right. He's the only one who thought of it. Ah, Come on, give me another chance. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. I see you're a nice guy, but you see, people do this. I want to have a real game yeah, where people lose. Yeah, it's not a lose. contest if we keep waiting till you win. Yeah. See, I wasn't sure how you, you know, at first you were giving me the answer. Then it was, I was supposed to guess what he was going to You were confused as well. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll He's play like you, Paris Hill. I'm going to play you three more. Hey, Rob, and he's my <laughs> celebrity card. I'm going to play you three more. And you got to get two of them. you got to get two of them right. Gotcha. All right, that's fair. Done deal. All right, done deal, pal. Fingers, Simon and <laughs> uh, Reason Throw. Come on. Simon and I bet he said, Do you know the answer, sir? I would say Garfunkel. That's right. I thought he was gonna say Carbuncle. Right. <laughs> ah. I'll accept Garfunkel or Carbuncle. Simon Gar- does Bigfoot like music? I don't know. I don't think he can possibly think know this. this what do you say, sir? Um I would say he does know it. You sure? Uh, How old is he, 40? I I, got to tell you something. I'm going to help you here. I can't imagine he knows this. How are you helping him? But I don't want to. Well, I mean, I'm giving him my expert opinion. I bet he says Schuster. I don't even think he can come up with that. He couldn't even do Abbott Costello. That's what I'm saying. You're you're going with he can do Simon and Garfunkel? Uh, Maybe he'll say Simon, Paul, and Randy. He did Cagney and Lazy. That's more obscure than he true. I'm not going to say anything, sir. Go with your answer. You know he's going to say Paul and Mary. Yeah. I I mean, you know what? I don't want to mislead you, so I don't really know. Go ahead. What is your answer? I, I say he will not know. He will not know. Okay, here we go. Garfunkel? Oh! Thanks, now. Real cute. I told you not to listen to me. Give me two more. Oh, man. No, you got that one wrong, so you, you do get gotta, two more. You got to get these two uh, right. Dude, and that's it. And then you don't talk to me. Uh, don't listen to me. Uh, you got to be your own man in this thing. By the way, Bigfoot is 50 years old. Oh, wow, I didn't know Is that. he really? Yep. Okay. Singers, Sonny and... Oof. I'm not saying what I think. I do think that he would might know this, but... Corleone. Uh, I think he does know it, but... Yeah, he, but I'm not... Don't thank me or hate me. I don't know the answer, but I'm telling you, I think yeah, he Yeah, gu- he's got to know this, though, yeah. doesn't, doesn't he? No. Uh, what is it? Singer, Sonny, and Cher, right? Right. Um, I'll say he does know it. All right, here we go. You got to get this one right. I hear you. Cloudy. Sonny oh! and 
motherfucker. Right. You're done, dude. Oh, That's what I said. Shit, I should have bet he would have said oh, cloudy. Oh, jeez. Who do I love alone? Sunny, oh, bad. sunny and, and cloudy. cloudy. So funny. Come <laughs> on. I would have bet the farm that he knew that one. I'm playing with a retard. <laughs> Duh. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what makes the game so sweet. Oh, come on, Howard. Well, uh, come on, Howard. You blew it. Would you want us to ask a person of normal intelligence these questions and you try to match? <laughs> well, it'll be a little bit easier. All right, I'll tell you him. what. I'm going to give you one mega try. Okay. This is for everything? This is for the whole mother load. You got to get this one right. If you don't, you got to say, Howard, I don't want the money. I'm hanging up. No, here's the deal ahead of time. You hang up the phone so you don't guilt me. Uh -huh. I don't want to hear you whining. I don't want to hear you being a bitch. All right. All right. I'm going to give you one mega shot. Mm. I'm, I mean, I couldn't do more for you. I hear you. But then you have to hang up immediately. Uh, if, you lose. if you lose. Is that a deal? Uh... I guess I don't have a choice. If you win, stay on the line and win your money. Okay. You, you, you agree to the terms? Yes. You're going to hang up? If I lose, yeah. Okay. All right, fair enough. I'll hold you f t to your word. Hey, can I ask Artie something? Quickly. Uh, eight and a half. Where are you at over under on your snacks today? I don't understand. What do you mean, eight and a half? Uh, how many snacks Artie's had? He's it's over, over, obviously. He's already eaten over eight and a half snacks. All right. Probably. What have you eaten already this one? How many Hawaiian punches have you had? Well, I'm going to count that as a snack. Yeah. I mean, it's tons of sugar and calories. I mean, the guy weighs now 303 pounds. He's over the 300 mark. You don't get that size without without missing a snack. 299 with the without the pants. Bullshit. Those pants don't weigh that no. much. No. You weigh 303. Were they, were they lead pants already? <laughs> what is the next goal before you start thinking about a diet? 325? I don't know. You're... You don't know where the mark is yet, huh? Yeah, but for some reason I'm very casual about it. I, I know, you're why. not even alarmed that you weigh 303. I wish I was alarmed. You know I'll, what I'll get know? alarmed at another yeah, point. Yeah, because we thought three was the number. At what you know? point do you think now you'll get alarmed? I don't know if I have any more alarm than me. I mean, 300 once seemed impossible. You said to me, I will never, you know, if I hit Did 300. Did you eat your alarm clock? You said to me, if I ever hit 300... I believe that this would send me into a panic. Now you've hit over 300. And I'm not panicking. <laughs> 300, what, does 400 seem impossible to you? Yes, it seems impossible. Let's not even. <laughs> Artie, please. But I never thought anybody would beat Hank Aaron's record either. <laughs> so you're not alarmed. In other words, you're not going to slow down or change your diet habits at 303. I don't have any immediate plans to do right. it, no. How many snacks have you had? You had cookies just now. You had how many Hawaiian punches? Pancakes, cookies. You had already had your pancakes? There's a whole breakfast out there. Oh, you, you're having more pancakes? Everybody, no, I, didn't, I have no, one No, what did you start today with? No, no, no. Have you had pancakes yet this morning? Yes. I know you're having more pancakes. Not right now, no. What's out there waiting for you? Well, they, I guess because of the, uh, the uh, last day of the contest, they brought up a huge breakfast. So you, it's the fact that you've already had <laughs> doesn't mean a thing. You will now have an, an additional breakfast. Maybe, yeah, sure. Yeah. You didn't bring in your usual bagel today? No, I had the bagel. Oh, see, he's not talking. I told you he's over eight. He's had pancakes and bagel. Bagel so, pancakes is two. Because he didn't get enough carbs. <laughs> so where Wait, we had one bagel. bagel. Wait, how many bagels have you had? One. Okay, how many pancakes? One. Okay. How many? Three Hawaiian punches. Three Hawaiian punches. I'm going to count that each as a snack. No, no, no. One Hawaiian punch. One Hawaiian punch, that's three. You had cookies. And cookies is four. four. And what else? That's it. You didn't eat anything on the way over? No. I don't have time. I was late. Now I just have a bagel waiting for me, and I'm like an executive. All right, that'll be five. You have another bagel we'll get. No. No, 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 no. That's oh. his early oh, morning that's your bagel. Early morning. And what's going to be the breakfast, do you think? I had breakfast. No, you're breakfast. having another one, you said. No, I didn't. I said maybe. Oh, you know you are. What it else depends. was out there that I you can't, were thinking of? First of all, of... the problem is I have to shoot Rescue Me today till 9 o'clock tonight. Oh. So Wait a I'm going to be like fucking, I'm going to be eating. I'm gonna, and the problem is that craft service is good. I'm going to be grazing all day. Are you a series regular now? Uh, they hired me for seven episodes. Wow. wow. Yeah. Way to and, go, one, and you shoot one day a week or, or more? It depends. I Last week uh, I shot two episodes in two days. This week, uh, it's going to be just one day, and then next week, two. It's, it's varying. When will your character appear on Rescue Me? Like, I'm going to have to start when watching that show. When does the show start? 
it starts June 12th. I come in like the third week, maybe. I'll let you know. Okay. I'll let you know. Did you see yourself in the paper in the real estate section this week? No. What did it say? The home section? Oh, no kidding. You're kidding me. What did yeah, it say? Yeah, they were just talking about, you know, stars who live in Hoboken. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that right? People, yeah. realtors yap more than anybody. <laughs> no kidding. I thought, I thought you meant because Ari's as big as a house. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What, um, what? No, the... but they practically gave your address. I brought it in. I'll show it to you. In what paper? It was, I think, the Daily News. I was surprised I wasn't in the real estate section. It's really weird. I have a you friend. You know, now I know how you feel, man. Uh, made, does anyone feel invaded? It's aggravating. I have a friend who called me up. He says, you got to come over and see this place. It's Bob Guccione's old mansion. Uh-huh. It's for sale. It's 59. Oh, that townhouse? Yeah, listen to this. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Fit, but you need... You, it's, they're asking 59 million bucks. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, I mean, man, I, could not, I could not afford uh, uh, that, that townhouse. Get out of here, Howard. I couldn't. You oh, make... Shit. That's a half your no. yearly salary. By no, the way, but you that's know not what? what I make. You and, know what? And that's <laughs> what I, I, I guess you didn't afford. see yourself in page six either. They, they, they said that I made more money than Oprah. They that's so not made fucking true. $304 million. In fact, last week, I didn't even bring this up. They had a list of the highest paid people in show business, and you were like number three on the list. That's what that was with quoting. Steven this article, Spielberg yeah. I know. and other people. But meanwhile, I am telling you right now. <laughs> so, so, so people read no, this. I shit believe you because read, I've been a victim I know. of it now too. Well, Full pe- shit. Well, people read this in the paper. Right. So the guy calls me up because you got to come over and see this thing. I got to tell you, it was, I mean, some rich guy's going to buy this and have, I mean. It's Wait, so a guy read the it's article t- and called you? No, no, no. He's a friend of mine. But but <laughs> twenty thousand square feet with an indoor pool, wow. twenty thousand gardens, the whole deal in Manhattan. In but you probably yeah in Manhattan, That's and you'd probably great. need about another ten million in fix ups. I'm sure. It's yeah. a little rundown. Uh, well, yeah, you got to put a roof. This is not the other thing. Taxes. So, what are the taxes on that motherfucker? But I, I I was over there looking. I said, I bet you I'll be in the paper like I'm buying the fucking thing or something. And because you are? they always have no. Uh, I couldn't buy that. No, but I'm saying, were you in they the paper? They didn't make the paper yet. But yeah. it will, I'm sure. Yeah. So, I, so I said, well, if I go over and look at it, they're going to think that I'm like You're I, in the market. I'm in a spending spree. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty wild. You know, right next to me, they built a. I want to read that article because there's all sorts of rumors going on. The construction workers are talking to me, but they just built a gorgeous new uh, complex right next to me where the Maxwell House uh-huh. uh, thing used to be. And I'm hearing a couple of list names are moving. Well, they there. said um, Eli Hoboken? Manning lives over there. Well, somewhere. yeah, he's on the Giants. He can't be a list. <laughs> uh, in Hoboken. In Hoboken, wow. I heard. Uh, again, this is just a rumor, but the construction guys swear that Reese Witherspoon bought a place there. In Hoboken. And yeah, right next door to me, literally, and uh, A Rod. I hope you got binoculars. I'd love to see her naked. Oh, dude, believe me, I got a terrace. I got. I got and a... now she's dating. You'll see her banging. See her fucking. I'd be beating <laughs> off. To her. Hopefully, she's dating women. That'll be more fun. There is nothing more exciting than like, like, like in my apartment. Sometimes if you use the binoculars, sometimes if you look at, you can see like a naked chick maybe walking by. Yeah. Hardly, and it's just so erotic. It is. It's it amazing is. to me how people in Manhattan forget there's a building right across the way as tall as theirs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do forget. I feel bad. Is that fucked up mentioning that she's there? I guess. Well, she's no. Well, you're worse than this real estate page because they didn't mention her. <laughs> really? All right, you ready? Here we go. This is All your right. one mega match. Mega match. And you and you remember the deal. You have to hang up. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Thieves, Butch Cassidy, and... <laughs> oh, come do you on. know the answer to this one, sir? I would say Sundance Kid, but okay. I don't know about him. Well, the way you give me all, come on, it's a game. What could he say to Butch Cassidy? I mean, he's come up with the wildest pairing, Sunny uh, and Cloudy. <laughs> and the Partridge family. But yet he knows something. <laughs> yeah, that Cagney and Lacey thing was like a monkey wrench. That fucked everything yeah, up. Yeah, that blew everything up. All right, Butch uh, Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, does he know it or not? Uh, oh, shit. Uh, he said Cassidy. He said Butch Cassidy, right? Butch, Butch Cassidy. He did say that, yeah. All right. Um, oh, shit. Like you gonna, uh, Dude, it's $500. You must be real desperate. Well, you don't know. I mean, I, I hear you. You're breathing heavy. I mean, you, you're ready to have a connection. Well, I want to get that lovely bear for my mom for Mother's Day, too. You know what I mean? I thought you were Obviously, trying... you're not going for the I heard $59 million. I, I think you were trying to buy, yeah, I think you were trying to buy Bob Guccione's house. <laughs> yeah, do you need the 500 to spend? <laughs> Come on, here we go. Um, I say he does know it. You say he knows it. Yeah, uh, damn, now you got me thinking the other way. Uh, I didn't say anything. Look, I'm... you got to make up your own mind here. All right, I'll say he knows Sundance Kid. All right, here we go, Robin. Five hundred dollars and the Bears from Vermont Teddy Bear. 
You're looking for Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid? <laughs> Answer is? Sunday, Sunday Dance Kid. Yeah. Wow. You did it. Woo! I would have right. said. I would have bet the farm he would have no, known I that. No, I thought maybe he was a big fan of that movie. You know what? It's on all the time. Yeah. You know, it was just on this weekend, as a matter of fact. Right. Nice. So, Brian, here's the deal. You've won 500 cash from Vermont Teddy Bear. Thank you, Howard. You know, 1-800-829-BEAR and VermontTeddyBear.com, and you can choose one of the following bears, Barefoot and Pregnant, Mom Kicks Ass, and Angel Bear, okay? Okay. I right, hold the line. We're going to get your info. Thanks again, Howard. There you go, brother. You see? You only I still needed... can't get over sunny and cloudy. That was ah. the best. You only needed 75 <laughs> tries, and he got it. Yeah, really. Ooh, we bent the rules there. <laughs> Hello, is Mark there? Yeah, it could be. What do you need now? Mark, it's Richard from Howard Stern. How you doing, buddy? Good. Hey, you uh... You people don't even realize what I'm doing, do you? I've discovered something so big, bigger in fucking life itself. Really? What did you discover? I've discovered where I'm being a scrimmonized housing. I mean, I can't even get my car worked on properly. It is. You got to slip in and everything else. Nobody cares anymore. I'm not taking my pills anymore. It's getting beef jerky. It is. Supposedly, uh, with my face on it, I don't see none of that. And you stop. You want stuff out of me? Well, I mean, I'm being a scrimmonized housing up here. Do you even care about that? I do. I care about you, Bigfoot. From house to house, I got fucking judges that think you don't know me. I got cops lying on fucking uh, down there, fucking uh, proofs, and he don't even know what the proof the art is, and I know more of the proofs than they do. Well, why, why would people hate you? Because I know too much. I figured out this crooked system right down to their judges, to their cops, their probation officers, and the fucking FSU people have more fucking civil rights than the fucking homeless do. You know that, too? Well, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I do. Well, now, do you understand what I'm saying? I do, and I feel bad for you. You don't realize what you're dealing with, do you? I'm the one that goes around and investigates things, other things that can't be done. And I do it by myself, every day by watching your crooked public, how he acts, what he do. Uh-huh. Do you realize what I'm saying? I do realize what you're saying, absolutely. Right? Right or wrong? Yeah. Wow. wow. That's no, that's my fa I made I actually made Richard give me that call on CD. Did you? I love it. I want to play it at like tailgate parties for a giant <laughs> game. Do you love this one? And we're back with the Jack and Rod Show. I'm Jack Mayhoffer with my partner, Rod Stivington. And today is powerful political Monday. And we have a special guest, Alex Stewart, author of Moral Health, Why Lobbyists Are Running Congress and What We Can Do About It. Hey, you want to tell us a little bit about your book? I'm sure glad you brought this up. You've got to have a little background on this because this is a little complicated. Actually, we have a special guest in the studio today that I'd like to introduce now. That's right. He's, he's Professor of Political Sciences, Brutus Kennedy Rutherford III. Hey, this is me, Brutus. Let's be very specific about this. Congress knows that how the old system works. And they don't want to go back to it. Hey, uh, what uh, what you want to do about the system at this? Well, we have to pass H.R. 235, which would restore the old system. Well, uh, I have a cure of uh, how to cure the deficit. It is, if anybody takes the time to listen to me, it is, because the people used to run moonshine unlegally, it is. <laughs> he can run the other stuff, it is. The same way you used to run the moonshine at this. Right or wrong? <laughs> I didn't quite ex understand exactly what your point was. Would you mind bringing it to bring Glenn? So messed up in the fucking head, it is. You don't know their well, fucking that? ass from their fucking nose. Well, what, what are you talking about? Lobby this, or whatever you talking <laughs> about. It is like Sanders, it is. Not knowing which way to go about the fucking or anything like that. You lost me. Excuse me. Is the moderator still around? To talk to your host there? I am right here. 
You're talking to them. Oh. Well, that's one point. Now, there's, there's several other points that I think are... Points about big. what? Well, I was trying to explain it. Are you going to explain it to me all day? And you'll be all day explaining it to me. <laughs> I'm trying to explain something to you, and you, you just, we just don't seem to fucking get nowhere. <laughs> well, we're not, we're not making much progress here, are we? The problem with Congress is they don't even know nothing about their own fucking uh, Sanders there at this. <laughs> well, I'm really not tracking you. Uh, you would only listen five minutes, and you would have the problem cured. Yeah, th this is kind of ridiculous. Talk about the Democrats. How much longer are we supposed to be on the air? Legalize marijuana. <laughs> We're not communicating effectively, and so I'm going to sign off. I'm hanging up. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> wow. He chases everyone away. He's like a monster. Too much. Um, I, I wonder, could we match any of these? Maybe we'll make a little money here. Cartoon, Beavis and... He knows this. He knows it. Yeah, he yeah, knows I'm it. Yeah, He's a big cartoon fan. He must have watched a lot of Beavis and yeah. Butthead. He could have been the voice of Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Beavis and... Uh -oh. Butthead? Oh, he did. Butthead. It. It's close <laughs> enough. <laughs> Bitehead. <laughs> Bitehead. Point it is. Bite it is. <laughs> That's a pretty good impression, Fred. But well, you got to hold a pen in your mouth. You got bite it is. <laughs> oh, you need an appliance for this. Oh, you can't do that on your own. Oh, bite it is. Well, kind of. <laughs> Ice cream, Ben and. Ooh, Ben and. I say no. I bet he knows every ice cream combination. Think, oh, that's Vermont too. Those guys are from. That's true. Field, he is. Yeah, he knows it. Yeah. Yeah, he's all into Vermont. Jerry's. Yeah. See, he just throws that one off. He was insulted by that question. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't make me feel like an idiot. Oh, come on. From Sesame Street, Ernie and... I wouldn't even know That's that. That's not fair. He Bert. Should, Bert he said and Bert Ernie, and. Not, Ernie not Ernie and Bert. And yeah, but he can't give them the... So I think he... Uh, no, but he's saying, the you know, it always is Bert and Ernie, not Ernie right, and not Bert. Bert. But he probably watches Sesame Street. I doubt if he knows this one. Because of the way it's worded. Yeah. Right. I bet he says Grover. Mo. Mo. <laughs> it's always the three Stooges. When in doubt, go to the Stooges. <laughs> Ernie and Mo. He's Ernie. another one of those Stooges. Comedians. Cheech and... Hmm. I say he, he knows loves it. marijuana. He knows that. Happy smoke. Gotta know it. He knows it, right? Yeah. He has to. You think, oh, Art? Yes. Chong. Yeah. 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 He knows some shit, that guy. He's not a total idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my teachers used to say about me. He said, my parents come in for parent teacher. He's not a total idiot. <laughs> I swear. But what can he do with what? My he father would go like, the teacher says you're a moron. Oh. <laughs> ice cream, Baskin and. Mmm. He's gonna know the other ice cream. Jerry's, we Baskin were. and Jerry. <laughs> Let me put the pen in my mouth. Goo. <laughs> <And Elf. laughs> I don't know. Baskin Robbins. It's not even an ant. No. It's not. He's not going to know that. Baskin and Robbins. No, it is. Oh, it is? Baskin and Robbins. Yeah, it, it is, is an ant. Yeah. I don't know. Baskin Robbins. I don't know. Maybe I, I'm wrong. I think it's it is Baskin Robbins. Yeah. I think it's hyphenated. It's Baskin Robbins. It's Sounds an idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's not Baskin. Did he, did he write Baskin Robbins? Yeah. He wrote Baskin <laughs> and. He's the retard. <laughs> Let's see. Weaving. I, I didn't say that. Baskin and weaving. He's Baskin saying Baskin weaving. Baskin and weaving. <laughs> the Odd Couple, Felix and. No way. Yes, because maybe Robbins TV theory. I'll bet you a hundred bucks he doesn't know that. Unger. I don't know if I'm that confident at all. Twenty. Let me see. What I got? Want to go at twenty? Again, he's saying the wrong name first. Right. Good. That's even more reason. So it's going to be Felix and Curly. Yeah. And the cat. Felix oh, Felix the Oscar. cat. Right, go twenty with me. About twenty. That you know. All right. Well, you think he's going to know Oscar? Yeah, no yeah. way. Make it interesting. Mo. See, I told you the three Stooges. Every time you say the how name, could they, in the wrong how could, order. How could Mo always be That's the answer? That's my default <laughs> yeah. answer. Yeah. Give me get, my twenty. Get that Gucci on the counter. <laughs> I'm buying the townhouse. That twenty, put him over. Comedians, Laurel and. Oh, does he's got to know that? He knows right? that. 
Hardy, he knows it. Yeah, I think he knows it, too. <laughs> Hardy. Yeah. Yeah. Singers, Hall and... Hmm. Johnson. I say he, he does it. Sonny and Cher. No way. Hall and... He'll say Hall and our studio. He'll Hall go Hall and, and Door. And... I got twenty. I mean, I'm playing with the house's money. What do you so. think? What do you think he, he? I say he doesn't know it. I don't think he knows it. Either. Oats, it is. Yeah, Oats they're not a TV no. couple. <laughs> um, Pink Floyd. <laughs> I love these associations of his. Television show Laverne and. Oh, he'll know this. Sure. Hands down, he knows it. Has, yeah. to, know it. Has to know it. Surely. Yeah. TV show Regis and. Now, mm. what is the right answer? Kelly. Is it Kelly or Mo. Kelly well, Lee? We should take either one. Okay. Mo. I say he doesn't know either of them. <laughs> <laughs> I say he does. Really? See, I don't think he does. Not this. I don't either. I got $20 of Artie's money. It's too bright of a day. Yeah. It's too bright of a subject. Too early in the morning. <laughs> 20 bucks right here. Ah, uh, Artie's got me I got Artie's doubting 20. myself. I'm going to say he knows it. I say he doesn't. All you right. got a bet. All right. 20 bucks. Regis and... Come I don't on. know what Come to on. say. Come on. I believe you owe me $20. Yes, Kelly, oh. you idiot. <laughs> Kelly. Want my 20 <laughs> When he starts... There's two left. Two left? When he starts really thinking about it, you know you're fucked. Right. What you going to think of? <laughs> Animated movie, Lady and... Oh, stop. Lady and what? The tramp. Oh, I didn't even know that. The only <laughs> way he knows it. Good diver it is. He doesn't know it. I didn't know it. Again, maybe he like... loves cartoons. No, I don't care. Gonna, I, not... I'll give you guys both a chance he's to win back your money. He's not gonna know that. Artie twenty, Robin twenty. Yeah. I'm playing with the house's money. I can't risk that. No, I can't do this one. I mean, yeah, I just right. I have no passion. Here we about go. Either way, right now. The prince. Yeah. Uh, and the prince. Good. I'm glad I sh kept my mouth shut. And here's your last chance to win back your money. Opposites. Ying and... Oh, forget it. No way. No Artie, way to make any back? money back here. I say he doesn't know Yang. Doesn't know Yang? All right. <laughs> I'm in. 20 bucks. Here we go. Yang. <gasps> Here's your 20. Oh, my goodness. I could have made back my money. Smart man. Well, you're still up 20. Why would you guys think it was so impossible to know that? That's kind of like... Maybe you might hear that all over the place. I don't think they say that on Regis, so since he doesn't know <laughs> <laughs> Kelly... What are the odds you'll bet on? Uh, bet me on this one. The odds on whether he pisses on Sal's face. <laughs> oh. Holds him down. And... I'm going to fuck you like a wild lamb when I want this. Uh, I also see a clip from the Bigfoot suicide. Was that Lisa G's interview? Yes, must be. Yep. After being rushed to the hospital last night and getting his stomach pumped, Bigfoot got discharged this afternoon. I spoke to him right after his doctor said he could go home. I'm a little off balance it is when I stand up at this and he had a tube down my throat with this where I felt like I weren't breathing at this and the machine was breathing for me. How you feeling now, Bigfoot? How am I doing now at this? I'm, uh... I'm doing fairly well. I got people willing to me to stay at their places now. It is, and now he's willing to get uh, me an apartment here, and I'm willing to. I took 153 pills. Why'd you try to hurt yourself? Because uh, nobody would help me. I went to the homeless shelter. I went to uh, uh, the police station. Nobody wanted to do me any uh, anything for me. Bigfoot hit bottom. One of the reasons he claims his manager wasn't paying him. So your manager owes you money. He turned around and charged me for some of the trips going down there and back. I was paying for some of it some of the time. I fired him, I did. And a woman he was dating was making him nuts. Right, you can't <laughs> let a woman make you kill yourself. Yeah, I know. And say, you women, you want to be the way you are, jump from one man to another. It's, oh, Melanie, it is and everything. She finally admitted she was a whore. That's what I got to start overlooking at. It is. Bigfoot seemed to overlook one big thing, the Bigfoot love. Stern fans love you. Yeah, I don't see it up here. I got people yelling out up here, you rotten Bigfoot, you a rat, and everything else. What about the fans that are here that <laughs> really care about... His tragedy. He, he walks around and, and people are yelling at you, rotten Bigfoot? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> what are you talking about? That sounds crazy. You can't laugh at his no, I mean, that sounds like, insane. That. It sounds like, again, like Frankenstein's monster. Uh, what, you rotten Bigfoot? 
poor I, thing is The guy's just trying to live his life. They're yelling out rotten you're Bigfoot. you're laughing. I never heard any of the townspeople <laughs> sound terrible. I have to admit, I drove up there this weekend and got drunk and started yelling out, you're rotten uh, Bigfoot at them. <laughs> you, what do you want to say to them, the ones that really well, love I you? I want to say to them, I want promise now I'm not going to do that anymore. Yeah. So we've got a promise from Bigfoot. His caretaker, Carl, is his new manager, and come Monday, he'll be looking for his own appointment. For Howard Went Under News, I'm Lisa G. Nice. Where'd he get all the pills? You know, I mean, those things... Well, yeah. he takes a bunch of medication. He just uh, took them all. Well, Matt, well if, if he takes antidepressants, maybe... Shouldn't he just be really happy at that point? <laughs> Not when you can't find a place to live. I guess that breaks right through the medication. Let's fuck some hoes! You're making a new film where you're looking for someone you want to blow. I mm -hmm. have three guys standing behind a curtain. Each one is going to stick his penis oh, out. Oh, my goodness. I I'm just a... realized the holes in the curtain. Yes. Yeah. There are holes in the curtain. Now, what is it you're looking for today in our game called Pick a Penis, Tabitha? <laughs> Tell everyone. Okay. Well, this is like a glory hole scenario because, you know, in the movie that I, I'm putting together, I don't want to see them. I just want them to come through and just get them done and just leave it sloppy crazy. You know? Now, you're saying that whoever you pick today... There are three gentlemen standing behind a curtain. When they put oh, their penis, oh, there's one in. Don't, guys, don't put, don't <laughs> put them through yet. There. Don't put them through yet. Oh, don't put them through yet. When, um, when they put their penises through, yeah. you will look at each penis. Mm -hmm. Will you, will you touch it? If I'm allowed to touch it, yeah. Uh, okay. You, well, um, what is she allowed to do? That's I yeah, I need to know the know. rules. I don't know the rules myself. <laughs> it's a new game. Well, well, take a look. you want? We, uh, take a look at them. Okay. And uh, don't get into blowing and all that. Say that. Oh no, 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 no. That's the movie, okay, no, you're going to look at all three penises, and you're going to choose one of these gentlemen to be in your film, yes. and, and they will get what a free blowjob on your film. Yes. Oh, isn't that exciting? It is exciting. That is. I've seen you do that on your website. I'm pretty good. And you're very good at it. Thank you. You're tremendous at it. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Robin, you got to see it. It's real good. Tab <laughs> TabithaStevens.com, by the way, and I, I, I recommend it. I think now. Um, so what do you want to do? Do you want to stand over there now? Look, if you want, uh, yeah. I'm going to have each gentleman, number one, put your penis through first. There okay. is a big wall, there's a curtain, and a hole. And here comes number one's Where's wiener. number one? <laughs> number one's wiener is coming through now. It's barely able to wow. poke through. It doesn't look like it's wow. super large. No. Tabitha, keep a microphone on yourself so we can hear what you have to say. Number one is trying to get present. One second. Uh, number two, wait until we call for you, please. Oh, number two is oh. raring to go. But All right, Tabitha, no number one is trying to put it through. Let him put Maybe it through. Maybe help it. No, just, just let, let him do his own thing, Tabitha. It's really little. Oh, oh right. is that the problem? All right, number one is put his through. Wait, is, does he have testicles? Of course he does. I don't wait. Know. Yeah, they're there. Okay. All right, so there it is, Tabitha. That's number one, okay? Okay. Wow. Number it's two. waving hello to me. It's waving hello. Number two, put yours through. There is number two. Wow. That is his penis. <laughs> That's, That's nice. number one waving hello. How many inches is number two, would you say, Tabitha? Number two? Mm -hmm. um, well, it's unerect. I'd say almost about eight. That's unerect? Boy, that's what mine looks That's like erect. That's completely erect. It looks like he's, he's aroused. And uh, <laughs> Is he semi-aroused, Tabitha? Um, I'll tell you in a second. Oh yeah, he's yeah, it's getting a little yeah. more. Yeah. All right. Number All right. wow, boy. And number uh, God, number one, I'm a major bro. Number one, uh, Tabitha, back up for a second so we see number one again. He he barely gets through the hole. <laughs> I, I see a thumb. There's a thumb. That's his. Oh no, my that's his, God. Okay. And then number number three, put yours through. <laughs> Number three, three barely makes it through himself. Oh, what kind of penis is that? Content. Tabitha, what do you see there? I don't know. Does it look strange? Yes. There, wh it's and like, okay. Like, all right, if we go to the head of the penis on number two, you know, yeah. it's fully out there. It kind of looks like it's stuck to the rest of the You see what I'm saying? It's like, wait, I'm going to have to separate. Does it separate? It, it doesn't. Uh, Whoa. Oh. Whoa. It's a strange penis. It's, I don't know. It's nice right. and powdered. Now, Tabitha, one of these penises gets to be in your film. The other two do not. Okay. You're gonna, now, now, number three would be a novelty, I imagine, if to have a penis like that in your film. Number two seems to have the biggest one. And number one uh, has a uh, very, very small little button <laughs> penis. Yeah. Now, which guy are you going to choose? And tell us why. And give us your analysis if you share with us. Okay, I'm going to have to go mm -hmm. with number two. Why? Because of the size and because... 
of my work. Mm-hmm. You know, I need to use my hands, and I want to go down and get it all crazy and all the saliva everywhere. I want so large is really the answer. Not, large isn't always the answer. Well, number two is the only one who has a penis. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have any other see contestants. That. All right, before you meet the man you got, I'm going to introduce you to number one, the guy with the tiny penis that barely made it through the hole. Number okay. one, come on out. Let's hope you have a microphone on you. Number okay. one, come on out and say hello. Here he comes. And look who it is. It's oh, an old friend. High pitch. Hi, I high pitch. I didn't know your wee was like that. High pitch, say hello. Hi. Uh, hi. Oh, high pitch. You? High you're pitch. Good. What happened there? You hardly had a you, penis. Well, he had can't get it cock. past his stomach. Aww. What happened? You couldn't even get it through the hole. I had a small cock. Yeah. What a shame. You could have gotten uh, on film with Tabitha. You could have been in a porno. You could have received uh, 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 oral sex. I know. And you missed out. Do you but feel bad? But look at what that yes, little thing was fighting. It was trying oh. to get. He was trying to get his stomach out of the way so he could get it forward. Is that what happened? That's crazy. Yeah. Really, it got in the I way. I pitch. What yeah. happened with your oh. penis? My, my belly. It got in the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's sad. You have an enormous belly <laughs> and a minuscule. Ah. Dick. I lost some weight from working. Ah. Actually, you did lose weight. Yeah, you do look a little better. I start my new job tomorrow. Where you? What? Doing construction again? Construction in Huntington on Albert Harbor. All very nice. Must Quite be... a whole trash and lumber. Yeah. I'm sure the owners are thrilled to see you there. <laughs> Move the fuck out of Lloyd I'm Harbor. My feet. You're getting back on your feet. Good. Yes. Tabitha, are you disappointed? Wouldn't it have been an asset to have high pitch in your newest porn? Oh, yeah, because I would have loved to have hear him. <laughs> Get off. Right. <laughs> All right, high pitch, you didn't win. Now, let's meet number three, the other loser who had a very strange penis. Tabitha has seen a million penises and couldn't figure out who it was. Number and couldn't, three. It, she'd yeah. never seen one like that. Ah, it's Jeff the Vomit Guy. Oh, of course he'd have a strange penis. Jeff, hi. Hi. Jeff, you have a very odd penis, according to Tabitha. Do you know that? It, it does get stuck in there. It doesn't seem to uh, protrude uh, when it's not erect. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Are you disappointed? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. You Look would have up. liked to have been in the porn? Y- yes, my, my whole life is, seems to be disappointing. Would you like to have a little throw up <laughs> so you yeah. could get erect? Yeah, that's that would be one technique of, of getting stimulated. When yeah. you say your whole life is disappointing, yeah. describe to me what you mean. Well, just coming here on the train today, I was saying to myself, you know, I have a way of putting myself down and saying, I'm everything that's wrong with America. Right. I, that's why I just feel like uh, I don't get any respect. I'm... I feel down, you know. I, I feel like I was given this uh, uh, since birth this 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 curse. unusual fet this this uh, fetish a of curse. mine, Roman shower. Yeah. That uh, you no, like but, to be vomited on. Yes, by a, by a beautiful woman. Now, yeah. uh, not Tabitha. by men, but by women. You know? Would you have entertained that in your film? Would you have vomited on Jeff? I don't. It's hard for me to vomit. I'm, I can deep throat. I don't know if that. Mm, right. But you would have liked the oral sex, well, I'm sure. Yes. Well, it's kind of little like Rome. Spit and saliva is a little like, you know, puke, I guess, in, uh, in a way. How is your life yeah. going because of the vomit thing and just who you are? It's just people don't like you. I just feel like a, 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 lo- a misfit. I just feel like a misanthrope. I feel like a, an anomaly. I feel like I'm just, I'm not, ma- I'm not unique because I do hear from rumor that uh, there are some other guys out there like me who... But who you've like, never who, made actual contact with another person. Uh, right. As Robin said a couple years back, uh, and it, it, it's her words seem to be true. I never yet f- found myself uh, an ideal vomit mate, an ideal female who's uh, into uh, not and necessary Jeff, bulimia. It had to make you feel bad when Tabitha looked at your penis even and said, <laughs> oh, it's weird. I mean, even that didn't turn out normal. Oh. This poor guy's going to kill himself. Now. Don't kill yourself, Jeff. Are you thinking? Are you suicidal at all? Uh, I just get the the pre, the pre, you know very uh, the, depressed because I, I feel the only way I can be able to uh, uh, go you know maybe go to a dominatrix or something and I don't even have any money, any money to to do that with. You know? Wouldn't it be great if there was a whole planet of people like you and where you were the normal one and everyone else was weird where it was a planet vomit where everyone just yeah. vomited on each other? That's uh, bulimia. Yeah. Why well, doesn't he go out with somebody? The plan, why don't you go to? Why don't you move to bulimia? Yeah. Well, bulimia yeah. really is is, is, is like they, they refer like a sickness and illness. I, I would rather meet some uh, some chick who's you know really into uh into the fetish for the point of uh, euphoria, like they they because they get off it, not so much because they they're sick. You know they're sick or want to be You want a healthy vomit? I would like a healthy vomit or a natural vomit or Jeff, someone who you're just setting your sights too high. Um, oh, I bulimia. am so sorry you didn't win today. Jeff, you're setting your sights too high in the fact that you want a girl that's actually alive and breathing. <laughs> well, Jeff, I'm sorry. You didn't even win the, the oral sex from Tabitha Stevens who shot at the uh, porno. Uh, 
It's well, kind Jeff, of have my, you ever... my penis couldn't cut the mustard, I guess. Yeah, my... but have you ever tried just sort of normal things? Does that do anything for you at all? Um, I over the years, I'm fifty. I'm fifty years old now. Over the years, I've very rarely, uh, um, you know, had an opportunity or been in the right place at the right time to have a social, any type of social horizon oh. where, where I can meet anyone and, and you know, d right, do well, anything. You know, I'm I'd, sorry, today was not a winning day for you. I, I would be. Mm -hmm. I wish I could get some form of consolation prize or something. You know. Jason like wants to do it. Jason will give you a blowjob right now. <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, again, a misnomer. I'm not into the male aspect of it. I'm just misnomer. Yeah, I know. We don't understand your fetish completely. Again, uh, 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 Roman shower. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. I will give you something. I'm going to make a vow to you. We're going to have you back again at some point. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. And I'm going to find a woman, hopefully, that will vomit on you. Is that okay? That would be that would be that would be great. All right, I'm going to try and help you out with that. That would be all right, nice. Pal? Okay, yeah. I'm going to look into it. That's all I'm I'm promising. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe could you could you spare a little so I can go to a dominatrix and maybe? And, oh you know, my God! I'm not paying for you to go to horse. Get myself uh, connected. No. Uh, no. Jeff, if you and uh, High Pitch want to have lunch with me mm. today, I can guarantee I'll throw up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the male, you know, male thing. I hope it's just not a male thing that I'm. You know, it's uh, I, I like heterosexual. I keep claiming I. All your offers are from guys. Yeah, it <laughs> seems like that's that seems to be the only what 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 goes on here. Jeff, I'm gonna try and find you someone other than a dominatrix, as yeah. you say. Yeah, and, uh, it's just hard for us to believe you can't get a girl to throw up. Uh, well, they they feel I'm it like sure. like maybe I want to get them disgusted. It's just that uh, I seem to feel. I have a Tabitha, can you throw up on him at all? Would you be able to? I don't know if I can. I mean, I hardly eat as it is. If you could stand um, over him naked. I nothing to throw up. Could, could you stand over him naked and just vomit a little on him? Is there possible? I don't think I can. You don't. You don't have that ability. What if you though? kiss him? No, but wait. This if you kiss weird. him, won't you vomit? I don't know. No, I, I, I bet you would. Well, I don't know. In the, in the, in the, in the industry, isn't there Ro Roman showers? Doesn't that have you ever, isn't that, doesn't that exist in the, in the industry? Haven't you heard? Like, no, they in, do. They, in like the really nasty hardcore porn. Yeah. Yeah. Tab of the kiss him, like tongue kiss him. I bet no. you. I bet you. Does it make you angry, Jeff, I, that, that, no, that none of these women understand your fetish? No, uh, I understand everybody has a fetish. I, I totally get it. It's mm. just to me, it's. The smell. Do you like the smell? Yeah, the of smell. Yeah, the smell. Of the erotic. It is a smell. The smell is kind of you know, erotic. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the sound effects. The. Uh, yeah, have you ever yeah, achieved I mean, a full orgasm just, with a woman uh, uh, well, well, yeah, yes, like on a one-to-one -one private, in a private type of situation. But uh, uh, and I guess I'm not exactly a a, a, a a male stud porn star who could, you know, cut it boom, you know, in front of a, you know, everybody, uh, you know, when why I, don't you a, go, an audience. Uh, why don't you go to a chemo uh, clinic? And stand outside. They oh, a lot of women actually do chemo vomit. Yeah. Right. yeah, that's a good place for you to hang um, out. But it's not that healthy. Remember, he wants again. Oh, it's, again, right. it's I'm encouraging. Basically, uh, it almost makes me feel like a, a stalker or, or you know, uh, oh. someone who's encouraging, uh, looking for the wrong. Uh, thing in the wrong type of place. Uh, Makes you feel like a weirdo. Right? I ra I'd rather. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not a weirdo. I, I'd, I'd rather just. Right. Uh, Jeff, I'm surprised I'm that sorry. he hasn't found his mate. He's been looking for so long. Jeff, how many hookers have you killed now at this point? Uh, no, uh, no, no one. I, I like really haven't had a good vomit scene in uh, in uh, in the longest time. And for my 50th birthday, I was hoping I would be able to come up with some. Which was just last year's past July. I was hoping I would be able to go to a, dom a dominatrix, but I just can't get any money. You like to be spit on. Does that um, get you off? Well, you, you, that's so part of a humili like a humiliation scene, uh, seeing saliva come out of a, well, a girl. Where? You know? do you, on your penis or in your face? Or on, on my face, on my stomach. Uh, it's just like being a... Do you want Tabitha to, to spit on your penis? Uh, yeah, do that. On, the, uh, on your stomach? Uh, uh, you I, can't, I couldn't promise any erection, though. You know, I get a little, again, it's so... It's like, <laughs> So uh, awkward, uh, do you want Tabitha sorry, to Bob. spit on you? Uh, would you I, like that? I mean, if you like it. Penis? Uh, yeah, if you would like, if you would. Pull like. it out. Okay. Well. All right. My mom better not be on the line. Uh, well, like spitting it. <laughs> would you like that? Would that be a good reward for you today? Uh, uh, well, th th yeah, I guess that that would be. Uh, uh, that would be. Do you like Will it, he like, be able to like or just any kind of spit? What? What could be like a big thick spit or? Um, a big uh, like a big thick drool. Uh, oh, uh, like, oh. like like sticking out the tongue first. And I just like uh, I'm uh, not doing 
getting the blowjob oh, here. Oh, that's a, <laughs> no, there's no blowjob going just, uh, on. Yeah, Jeff, tell us exactly what you want Tabitha to do spinning-wise. Um, well, maybe saving up a lot of saliva for a, a few seconds, a lot of saliva in your mouth, and then just uh, uh, oh. spitting, uh, spitting it out on me. Uh, has really nothing to do with uh, puke or, you know, vomiting. It it's almost seems in a way that I, I get a, a thrill out of seeing, and this is all my life, seeing a girl getting, you know, getting sick and, and, and puking. Uh, I just seem to... But why are you... Some... Maybe, maybe, isn't it dangerous, Tabitha, to even have spit on your penis? Maybe a, a herpes or something maybe can be transmitted? Maybe your chest or something. Well, maybe your I'm, chest. I'm, How about I'm, your chest? On my, well, on my chest, yeah. You would like that. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I don't sure. have herpes, by the way. No, I know you don't. I know. You're 100% clean. We don't know sure what, you don't. We don't know what anybody has. We, we don't, I'm just saying, why take a chance on a spit? Why would you have herpes? Yeah, right. Artie? I'm fucking around. Oh. Hey, uh, Jeff, yeah. and again, a chick shitting on you is no good, right? Um, Tabitha, could you shit on him a brown little bit? Yeah. Brown showers, I've heard of that. And oh, a lot of guys like are into, uh, seem to be uh, into Tabitha's that. Tabitha's going to spit on your belly right now. Here you go. I've been I'm watching carefully. I caught up a good one. You ready? Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Now, what are you doing there, Jeff? Your nipples and rubbing it Jeff, you're rubbing it into your belly? I say, I try to smell if there's a distinctive, some type of odor. There is some form of odor to saliva. It is. I had to brush my teeth again. Um, <laughs> Jeff, what are you doing there? You're rubbing it on your broton belly yes. and, you're, and you're smelling your fingers. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to see, you know, there's some type, there's, uh, some yeah. type of, of uh, odor. Uh, that, oh, yeah, like your breath. Uh, uh, sal a saliva type of odor. Do you think maybe it's your belly that smells? Uh, no. <laughs> S saliva usually has, a, you know, has some type of uh, odor to it. Mm -hmm. Usually saliva is like a, a pure, like it has really no, no odor. It's like odorless. Do you think odorless. it's the grotesque film that's covering your body from you? All right, why don't, Jeff, why don't we say goodbye to you now and we'll meet the winner. Yeah, of there this, is a uh, winner contest. back there, huh? Thank By you. the way, TabithaStevens.com to order a Jeff the Vomit Guy autograph. You can go to HowardShrine.com. Uh, High Pitch Eric now is a working man. And now let's meet the man whose penis was most attractive to you and who is going to be in your new movie, Tabitha. Okay. Uh, big fun. <laughs> Oh, my. Uh, that's right. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Tabitha, you've won uh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot, how are you? I'm fine. And how how the heck do you have such a big schlong? That is some man. Oh, oh I work man. on it every night. You, you do? Know. Wow. What wow. do you do to it? Oh, let's pet it. <laughs> now, Tabitha, you're going you're gonna to put him in your new film? Absolutely. You really are? I'm going to go shoot it. Right now. And, and, and Bigfoot, you'd like to be in this film? Sure, I don't care. And you're going to receive oral sex from Tabitha? I don't film? care. And you're going to be able to blow a load and everything, right? Sure. 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 I'm positive. Okay, I believe you. If you, if you say so. Hey, I... <laughs> Tabitha, does I've he... been still ruling over your picture. Oh. <laughs> Tabitha, does he turn you off at all? I mean, he is a little bit... Uh... No, but you know what? He's... You know what? There's something so gentle about him. Yes, yeah, yeah. he's a gentle giant. No, it's giant. true. He is. He's such a sweet man. I really like him. Now, Bigfoot, I see you staring at Tabitha's body. I think you like what you see. Of course I like what I see. Yeah, how she look? Tabitha, give him a full view. You turn around a little okay. bit. Let him take a look at what's okay. going on there. Mm -hmm. Look at that, huh? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Now, Tabitha, tell me about this movie and where are people going to see you and Bigfoot carrying on now that he's... I'm uh, going to stream it on the site, on the website. On TabithaStevens.com. Uh, TabithaStevens.com. And then I'll, um, I'm putting a bunch of the glory hole scenes together. I and... see. Tabitha, you're not scared of this, huh? No, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Bigfoot, you are breathing heavily. I think you're Yeah, are very... you going to be okay? Yeah, you're going to... I'm going to be fine. Don't you're... worry about me. I... I've, I've... I've had my workouts. All right, and you know the do you do you wear do 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 guys wear condoms in this film or no condoms? As long as they have a test, it's okay. Oh, I see. So, so Bigfoot has to have a test. Mm -hmm. Bigfoot, are you going to get a test? Whatever she wants me to do. You Can never, he pass the you, test? You never did well on tests, but this test I think you'll be fine. <laughs> well, yeah, this test I think I'll, I'll do well on. All right, that's nice. Well, Bigfoot, you won. I think yeah. it. What was it about Bigfoot's penis that really got you? It's the overall. He has a really nice looking penis. It's just the head of it is perfect. It's nice and it, it's it's a little crazy big, which is nice. But you could just tell that once it's erect, it's going to be a nice. Hey, Howard. Yes. 
Yes, uh, uh, Gary. Timing couldn't be more perfect to wrap this segment up as Barbara Walters waits on the phone, and I have not put her on hold because I don't need her to hear this. Yes, you're absolutely right. All right, well, uh, let me congratulate Tabitha Stevens, TabithaStevens.com, and let me, of course, congratulate Bigfoot on his big win today. You are a winner, you see? Yeah. I told you things are turning around for uh, you. Yeah, uh, I see that. Uh, you Even see? No, Even though you shit right. in, in random parking lots, you're a winner. You are a winner. Today you are a winner, and beautiful Tabitha Stevens. I mean, come on. Tabitha yeah, Steve. I've been dreaming about her ever right. since that Christmas special. Right, oh. and you don't mind being on a film? And I don't, don't mind know. being on a film. You can right. put me in as many films as you want to. By the way, see Tabitha Stevens and her mom on Dr. 90210 tonight, 10 o'clock on the E! Network, where uh, Tabitha discusses plastic surgery and things like that. And uh, that's very exciting. Congratulations to you, too. Thank you. All right. Isn't that lovely? Bigfoot is on the phone. Bigfoot is uh, just won an appearance in Tabitha Stevens' latest video for TabithaStevens.com. Hey, hey, what's going on right now? Where are you? Ah? Uh, where are you? Oh, I'm fine. No, I said, where are you? Oh, I'm at the motel. Are you with Tabitha now? Yes, I am. Are you filming? Yes, we are. And you're receiving oral right now? Uh, I'm receiving head. <laughs> oh, head. All right. You're receiving it now? Yeah. I right don't believe now. you. Put the phone near the uh, tab of his mouth so I can hear it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's a brave girl. He really is there with her. Man. Here? I do hear it. Well, he, I guess he's in this movie And there are cameras. You're working uh, fully erect in front of cameras. Yes, I am. Are you able to get aroused? Huh? Are you aroused? Of course I am. Yeah. And you'll be able to complete this act. Yeah, as long as she wants to keep it up. How long has it been going on? Oh, uh, for the last ten minutes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Does it feel great? Oh, it feels wonderful. Why are you holding out so long? I mean, I can't imagine I could hold out that long from a tab. Hey, I can hold out all day long. Oh, that poor girl. <laughs> Let me speak to her for a second. All right. You want to speak to you? Hello? Has this been going on for 10 minutes? Um, yeah, for a little bit. And is that ridiculously long? Shouldn't he have Aren't finished? Aren't you tired? No, but you know what? We used a, um, a condom because we didn't have a test. Oh. Ah. So it's a little bit harder to do it that way. I see. Yes, otherwise, I think I could have done it sooner. <laughs> I'm sure you could have. You're a real yeah. pro. Now don't well, call my mom and play the short, please. <laughs> no, I'll keep that off the air. All right, Tabitha, get back to work, and uh, congratulations to you and Bigfoot. Thank you. All right, there it is, Thanks. Tabitha Stevens and Bigfoot in a motel shooting a new movie. That'll be on. Oh, yes, I am. All right, just checking. All right. <laughs> what do you think of that? I was trying to interview Tabitha while she was actually uh, w with you in her mouth, but uh, we couldn't get that interview. And so now she's, oh, jeez, sucking on the rubber? Ow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he says he could do this all day. I guess he can. You know, uh, you're not allowed to kill her when you're done. <laughs> I know that. I never killed nobody. I know. I'm just making a joke. <laughs> On purpose. Well, Bigfoot, congratulations. Enjoy it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you want me to come on the phone? Oh, my God. She wants you to come at some point, yeah. Uh -huh. Here, go ahead. Finish it off. All right. We'll try to. He doesn't even moan. No, he doesn't seem to be interested at all. How could he have a conversation? Is she tickling under your balls? No. Well, maybe she should. Tell her to. He says tickle underneath my balls. <laughs> tickle underneath my balls. Down there. What a charmer. <laughs> what yeah. a way to make a living for this Tabitha. Oh, my God, they're big. Hey, Tabitha. Let me speak to Tabitha. You. Yeah. Again? Yeah. Hello. While I interview you, can you can you do your business with him? I can try. Uh -huh. right. Go ahead. Isn't this horribly depressing for you at some point? <laughs> <laughs> you're in well, a... I think it's more depressing for you. I know. I mean, you're in a hotel and you're with Bigfoot and you're. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's over. Okay. He's wearing a rubber and. I, it's different. And you can't even get him finished. I mean. What's he wearing? Is he naked? No, he has his shirt on. He has it. It's just hanging out. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you go home, will you just like have tons of mouthwash and just like? Oh yeah. Yeah, I just picture you like in the shower, sitting there, like staring at the wall. How do you know? <laughs>
You know what I mean? For like a half a day. Like with her mascara running from yeah. crying. Yeah. And right. Yeah, a razor blade. Position. Why don't you tickle his balls and play with his taint? Maybe then he'll finish. I uh, know. A taint what? <laughs> Is it a turn on at all? Um, it's no, you know, it's work. It's my work. Yeah, it's my job. No, that is work. Yes. Um, <laughs> can you get him to finish right now? I mean, I can try, but I have to do my thing too. You want to talk to him? All, all right. Time? Yeah, we'll we'll talk to him. Okay. Okay. And poor girl's got to make him finish. Yeah. Hey, Bigfoot. Yeah. Give the girl a break and finish it up, man. Go ahead. I'm trying to. Hey, it's stubborn a little bit sometimes. You're not gay, are you? I'm not gay. She needs to work a little harder about this. Oh, boy. She's not doing it so good. She's doing it all right. That's, uh, Wait, uh, maybe you should tell her to take the condom off and just use her hand. What do you think of that idea? Take the condom off and use your hand. Okay. Because maybe that'll make it finish. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just an idea. Let me talk to her. I'll, t I'll give her some ideas. Let me talk to her. Yeah. All right. And don't shoot yeah. your load on her, for God's sakes. Oh, there you go. Oh, that feels good. Uh-oh. Uh, now we're oh. going somewhere. Yeah. Now we're going. Work that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Robin's playing with herself. So. All right. <laughs> is it going to happen, Bigfoot? Huh? Is, is it going to happen? It's going to happen. All right, go ahead, go ahead. That. Get back to work. Let us hear. Let us hear. 2007, 2008, 2009. <laughs> Sounds like Darth Vader. Mm. I am your father, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> your father, I am. <laughs> the force it is. You are a rebel spy and a traitor. Take her away. <laughs> Come on, Bigfoot. I'm fine, too. I bet you the cameras are inhibiting you. She using her hand a lot? Yeah. Rubbing it? I feel like it's going to happen. That's why I'm hanging. Oh. <laughs> Tell her to talk dirty to you. Stubborn. Tell her to talk dirty to you. Let me talk to her. What do you mean? I know what she's got to do. Th th let me talk to her, will you? Hi. Uh, you want to talk to her? Hello? Hey, listen, honey, you got to get this thing wrapped up. Use I'm your, trying. Listen to me. Use your hand and then talk real dirty to him and, like, tell him how hot he is. I think you'll get confused. And, and get close lie to, to him. him. Yeah. yeah, lie to him. <laughs> go ahead. Now, give him the phone and, and go ahead. Okay. All right, got you. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to spit on it. Yeah, go ahead. to him. Maybe I'll talk to him. I was going to say, foot. maybe you should. You are so hot. Oh, who's so hot? You. you. <laughs> Me? Yeah. You're so big and thick. Get out. Bigfoot, I need you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not helping. Huh? Wait, there's a girl here who wants to talk to you. Bigfoot, I think you're really hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want it in my ass. I don't uh, to give it in the ass. I only give it in the cunt. Oh, I, that's what I have. I'm, I have my vagina. Oh, it feels I, good. Do what? me harder. Do me harder in my vagina. 
Do it, do it to me so good that I can't even think straight. <laughs> that I can't think straight. <laughs> Suck my cock. I mean vagina. <laughs> you don't even know where your cock is when you turn <laughs> Don't make him laugh. Was Let me talk before? to Tabitha. Hey, Howard. Yeah. It's Isaac from Howard TV. Yeah, Isaac. I, I think he's, I, I mean, she's really working hard. I, I think he's just not finishing on purpose. <laughs> I think, he wants, I think he wants to prolong it. It's going to go for hours. I mean, think about it. He's in a free room. Yeah. He's using all kinds of uh, grips I've never seen before. She's got like a continental grip and a, a double handed. I mean, she's going crazy. Artie's right. He doesn't care about the hand job. He's just happy to be in a warm place. With the, home, the homeless con man in his head is like, if I don't come, I stay here. <laughs> Maybe I'll get lunch. Uh, this, room room. this might be the world's longest hand job. I mean, she's doing a. Uh, I mean, she's basically killing it. She's doing everything she can, right? Everything. I'm going to put him back. I'm going to put him back. All right. Coming equal, equals homelessness. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He's out on the street once he comes. <laughs> hey, um, Tabitha. Uh, this is not Tabitha. This is Bigfoot. Let me speak to Tabitha. Mm. We know. Huh? <laughs> Let me speak to Tabitha. <laughs> Baby. This is not okay, terrible. Hello? You realize he might it might take him days to come because thanks a lot. Well, once he comes, he knows he's out on the he's street. He's gonna get kicked out. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Uh, let us know tomorrow how long it took. Okay. Okay. Well, so far, where are we at? Twenty. <laughs> Twenty minutes. Good luck. All right. Speak to you later. Okay. Bye. You picked a winner. You should have gone with high pitch Eric. He would have been done. What? We want to measure it. Is Remember I told you I had nine and a half inches? Mm -hmm. There it is. <laughs> is. Is it nine and a half inches? Yeah. Uh. Ask Tabitha if you don't believe All right, let me ask Tabitha. Get the tape measure out. All right, let me ask her. Hello? Is it nine and a half inches? It's probably about close to nine-ish. Wow. I guess it's big. Yeah. Wow. It's big. Jesus. <laughs> All right, thank you. Was I lying? You still there? Joe, what are you doing? I mean, you're going to spend all day with this? <laughs> I what? told you. I'm, I I don't know how to explain it. Uh, I got to get out of this. All right. Thanks, Bigfoot. Yeah, no problem. <sighs> Imagine you're in that room, Robin, and that's how you make your living. Uh, Jerking off Bigfoot. <sighs> yeah. I can't, I can't say that mm. I could get the job done. <laughs> Well, I haven't come yet. Looks like we got to camp out here for tonight. <laughs> do you think if I said to him, I'll give you $100 if you come in 30 seconds, he would do it? That's a possibility. <laughs> they might have to bribe him. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bigfoot, you're quitting? Huh? Are you tired? I'm not tired. Tabitha is. Tabitha is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got to blow your load in some reasonable amount of time. Yeah, uh, 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 we seem to have uh, too many cameras and too much action in the room here. I see. The 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 uh, the Bigfoot uh, things are squirted off. All right. Well, you gave it your best. Yeah. Well, we asked you. We asked you if you were going to be able to perform in front of cameras. No, he thought he could. Yeah, I thought I could. It is. Uh, I don't know what happened. All right, Bigfoot. Well, at least you had some fun, and you were in yeah. a warm room. Thank you. Yeah. All right, <laughs> for bye -bye. a little while. Bye. Check out the tape of Bigfoot not coming on Tabitha Stevens. Oh, they're going to put it up anyway. I, I would imagine. You know, she puts everything up there. <laughs> I was on there. It's plenty of clips. What? They're... I'm trying to hear Tabitha. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get out of there. <laughs> Can't blame her. <laughs> bon Jovi. You know me, hearted. <laughs> yeah, little the, Bigfoot rocks. The Doken hearted. <laughs> naked hearted. Naked hearted. You know, it'd be really cool if we just stripped out the music and just played the Bigfoot game where you try to guess what he's singing. <laughs> yeah. He's not alive. Yeah, no, we're never. Get your high there. Right. Yeah, we're gonna live forever. 
Let's go, baby. Got a letter from a woman wants breast implants very badly. She sent us some pictures, very cute. Uh, I said, okay, next time we uh, have a game with some money, maybe this can go toward your breast implants if that's what you want. This girl's name is Michelle. She's here to play the Bigfoot game. We were having a lot of trouble locating Bigfoot for a long time. Because Wanted to play the game, couldn't find him. Could not find Bigfoot. And I just lost my words that I'm going to... Uh-oh, and the words are very important. The big password game, but... Very pretty uh, girl. Michelle. Very pretty, Michelle. Thank you. Uh, well, better find my list of okay, words right because... Uh, <laughs> Give him another copy. I found him. Never mind. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Where's the big Where's the big man? Oh, I guess he comes in after you. Michelle, you're very pretty. Thank how you. old a girl are we looking at? I'm 28. You're 28 years old, and your breasts bother you? Yes. What's the problem? What's the problem? They're very small. Really? Uh, you look cute. You don't cute. like that? You're very cute. Yeah, you're very are. cute. I'd like them a little bigger. You'd like them bigger. So yeah. you need money to get toward the uh, breast implants. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you a shot today. Okay. Who is complaining uh, about her breasts? Men. Who else? <laughs> the animals of the world. <laughs> The disgraces of the world, men, but never men. satisfied. Probably told guys with small penises <laughs> complaining about her tiny breasts. Am I right? That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Absolutely. Where are you from, Michelle? I live in New Jersey. Let's see. Michelle suffers from an autoimmune disease which causes her major joint pain. That's oh, right. please. That's all in your head. <laughs> what part of Jersey? Um, Bergen County. Oh. All right. You once had sex in a public bathroom. All right, so you're fun. Okay, all right, I hear you. Did you hey, once get busy? It happens. No. Robin did it, and she's a respectable woman. Did you once get busy in a Burger King bathroom? Uh, it wasn't Burger King, but it was close. You ever watch the show Password years ago? That's what Beat the Foot is. If you want to win, that's the way to do it. We have a bunch of cash to give away. The cash prizes for Beat the Foot are provided by the new movie Strange Wilderness in theaters everywhere Friday. That's the one that uh, I saw. I loved it. Strange Wilderness. That's what the kid who goes off into the wilderness. No. Isn't that Into the Wild? You're thinking oh. of Into the Wild. Yeah. What's Strange Wilderness? Strange, I don't Wil know. Strange Wilderness is actually an amazing film from what I hear. What's what is it about? It? It's, a, it's a comedy. Well, one of my buddies uh, was raving about it. He saw it at a screening or something. And okay. uh, he's like, you got to go see... Because uh, you know how you're always talking about getting screeners? Yeah. He says, if you and Howard get a screener of this, you have to see it. It's a, an amazing film. Is this All the right. one that's about, like, uh, a very strange wilderness? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. No, but uh, I was like, all right. It was like, a, and it's a kid I respect. It was a ringing endorsement. Okay. So well, there you go. They're sponsoring this? So we're going to give, uh, we're, we have some money to play with. I'll tell you what I'll do. Every time you and Bigfoot match, I'll throw... Gary, well, how much money can I throw in? Okay, first of all, it's five hundred dollars a word for three words. So that's uh, fifteen hundred. Yeah, can I just tell you really quick, Harold, about this? Well, movie? Now, do her and Bigfoot split the money? Well, that, they, for every word, it's five hundred dollars. They each split. They each take two fifty if they get it correct. So how much can she win? She can win seven hundred fifty bucks. Is that good? I'll take anything. You'll take anything. <laughs> so, can yes. I just tell you one thing? I just here's the one uh, one sentence thing about what the movie's about. With the ratings dropping for a wilderness-themed TV show, two animal fans go to the Andes in search of Bigfoot. Okay, that's why I guess we're. Oh, that's Bigfoot. why we're having Bigfoot. Right. Oh, I see. All right. Thank God you explained that. All right. So every time you match, it's a five hundred dollars added to the pot. Okay. Okay. And you guys will split it up. You and Bigfoot. It's that simple. I'll give you a secret word, and you've got to get Bigfoot to say it. Okay. That's it. All right, Bigfoot, come on in here. Let's meet Bigfoot again. We love him. Bigfoot is. An incredible guy. He's carrying a big folder with him. Did, have you ever met Bigfoot? No, oh, I have Not in person. Hi, hey, Bigfoot. Good to see you. Good to see you. He, he looks grew like a beard. he's been in the wilderness. Oh, I grew a beard, all right. Now, you should go see this movie, Strange Wilderness. Oh, you shouldn't have seen where I was. Yeah, help him with his microphone. It's a little It's a little bit... Where is it? Uh, wait, we'll help you. No, no need to. Get it near his mouth, yes. Where were you? Um, I can't remember this name of this place, so maybe she can help me remember it. What's the name of that place? Caroline's. Caroline's, um, um, comedy, co club? Co comedy club. Is that a strange place? For me, it is because, well, listen to this, it even gets better. Okay. I was sitting in front of the stage, about maybe four or five feet from the stage. Mm hmm. I was more a comedian at the show, and the people were on stage. Is that right? Exactly. In other words, you became the entertainment. Yeah. I, I can uh, believe I, that. I, I was coming out with better jokes 
and the people are running the microphone. Now, how? Do you, what kind of jokes were you saying? All kinds of things. This guy told me it, it was this football guy. It was a wide receiver. Is and he had two girls feeding them wine. He was drinking wine, and one of the guys spoke up and said, "It is." Oh, it would be nice to take one of his women in, and, and, I, and I spoke right up at and said, I don't take other people's women. If he offer them to me, it is, then I'm willing to take them. So you interrupted the comedian? I didn't really interrupt him. It is. We kind of had a, like, seesaw game. Okay. You were working for <laughs> Like, Big he fun. talked, and then I talked. We and... were having trouble getting in touch with you. Let me just move on for one second. Uh, you, you were running around with a file. And you say that um, you have had, you're suing the state of Vermont now? In, yeah, I got a lawyer involved. Okay, why are you suing Vermont? I don't know. Oh, understand. I got several cases going on here where. Um, you don't uh, have to show me, just tell me. Uh, it's just hard to say it is because I can't read, remember? Yeah. yeah. I got four press passing orders here. One, not to show up at North Country Hospital. You even get treated at this. If I even get hurt or anything, I have to be uh, monitored by uh, officers from Newport. Right. You have an attorney working on the lawsuit. <laughs> Uh, you, you can't even go to the hospital, is what you're saying. You're yeah, saying the exactly. hospitals have a restraining order against you? What? That's uh, what I heard, that several hospitals have a restraining order against the you. The Newport Hospital. Yeah, does. why? Why? Uh, that, I never um, heard of that, a hospital. Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out this whole thing. Okay, so you're going to sue them and sue Vermont? Yeah, basically. All right, well, okay. And it's quite All a right. few landlords involved are where, oh, listen to this, it even gets better. Okay. It don't. I, it, 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 I mean, it, it can't get worse. It, want to bet on that? <laughs> All right. Okay. Did you just turn fifty years old? Yes. Wow. And uh, you were upset that no one celebrated your birthday. Yeah. You want to even give me a birthday cake, or you want to even Who? give me us? No, 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 no. Who Not didn't, you. Who didn't give Who? you a birthday cake? Where I was staying. Where were you staying? I can't. I, I can say now where I was staying is seeing somebody leaked it out and I had to move from there. Why is it such a secret where you live? Because uh, every time I open my mouth to the wrong person, I'll give you an example. Right. It's a certain um, shrink up in Newport. It is. Yeah. Things are supposed to be confidential, right? Yeah. You Again, go to a shrink? Yeah. We okay. go to a shrink to talk to them about your problem? Yeah. It's supposed to be confidential. Right. Right. If she turns around and I got this other advocate. From welfare, it is uh, turned around. It was supposed to get me into low income housing. Listen, it gets better. I, I can't get any worse. I don't <laughs> know. Well, you want to no. bet on that? Well, uh, I mean, I'll I got quite the story here. Does Vinny on. email someone in this? <laughs> huh? Go ahead, I'm sorry. Now, are you swearing off women? Do what? Did you swear off women? You will not be with women anymore? I'm about ready to give up on him. My hand gets more of a pleasure it is than a woman can give me. I, I hear you. Yeah, everyone can agree with <laughs> that. Oh, 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 you got a bunch oh, of oh, friends oh, in there. Oh, oh, I wish my, oh, my fingers don't talk back at me. Last time you were here, you were with a girl. Yeah. Then you, you broke said, up. You were in love. Yeah, you know what yeah. happened why it broke up? Why? Because I turned around and had an EP. It turned around. I was paying him money to take care of me. And then when I paid him, it is, and he got used all my money to help pay her bills. She turned around and went out with him. That's because I wanted to feed him a little bit of Chinese. And as soon as before I even left the driveway, they were kissing and right in front she of She was cheating on you? Yes, behind my back. Now, I heard recently you took her back. No, I wouldn't take that back from a 10-foot pole. No, oh. I heard you went back. You had a reconciliation, and then you broke up again. No, you I never, never went back to that. I see. All right. Look, you when, had hey, girl? When, when I end something with somebody, that's it. It's over. Right. Well, did I, you have another... I move on to the next one. So well, did you have another girl after that? Which one? Oh, God. All right, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot. So you mean it? Melanie? Or... I don't know any names. Uh, I do. I know. Uh, I, I know them all. <laughs> yeah, we know you do. All right, listen, Bigfoot. It's great having you here. Happy birthday. Good luck, girl. And good you luck. You got a match with him. All right, now you're gonna, Michelle. This is Bigfoot. Bigfoot, Michelle. You both can help each other right. win money. All right. All right. Very nice. Uh, Michelle wants to win money so she can get her breasts enlarged and you know, maybe contribute toward that. And you, of course, always need money. You're always a little bit strapped, so this will be well, nice. I'm always strapped. Uh, uh, now, like I told you, just for two snow tires for the back end of my car, stud snow tires. 
tires of three hundred and eighty dollars. That's the two tires. All right. So Michelle, I'm going to have you first leave the room. Okay. Now, when you walk out, the reason I'm having you leave is so that you won't hear the password. And Michelle, if you want to keep going, you can keep going. <laughs> yeah. If you walk out and never return, I get it. You understand? You know, okay. you're pissed off. Well, I mean, you she's not scared room. of me just as soon as I open my mouth. You leaving the room makes you the luckiest person in the room right now. Yeah. All right. So you know, Sal probably would like to leave too. It is he has no choice to stay here. That's right. Okay. Now, Michelle, here's how you and Bigfoot can see how I add into things. I'm sorry, I cut into. No, you. you're nice yeah, callback. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, I thought it was a good idea too. Now, Bigfoot. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to send Michelle out of the room so she can no way hear the secret word. Right. I, I, I'm going to I'm going to tell you the word. Right. And when I tell you, and the I word, have to go around everything but say the word. word. And you can only use one word clues. You want to try to make her say the I word. I can only use one word, word at a time. That's right. Oh, all right. I just want to completely understand it. Yeah, it's just a word. Remember, I have no a sentences. learning disability. All right. So she's going to leave the room. I'm going to give you a word. When she comes back in. You will try to get her to say this word. Right. I'll give her an exact word. I get it. Right. Yeah, I, okay. I, I okay. understand. Yeah, got it. Yeah, okay. I got yeah. it. It just okay. takes a while to sink in. And then when she matches the foot, which is you, we put $500 in the bank that you two can split. And every time you match, we put another 500 in. Split with her or yeah. split right. with me? You, the two of you will split each time you win $500. Oh, oh, oh. oh. 250 now, apiece. Yeah. All you right. will share the winnings. You'll oh. share the winnings. Yeah. Let's say you guys make $1,500. They'll each get $750. That sounds good to me. All yeah. Right. It happens. All right. Okay. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm going to give you the secret word. Right. Remember. I'll do remember. Want, do you want to practice with me one word? <laughs> do see what? If you've got it. Do you want to practice to see if you understand how That would be how a good idea. Okay, okay, that okay, way okay. it gets me some idea of what to warm up to. All right. I'm going to give you a different word than what I'm going to give you. Okay? Right. Let's say I gave you the word pencil. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Try to get... Oh, that won't work. All right. You try to give me a clue now to get me to say pencil. Go ahead. Just try it. Paper. Okay. Um, writing? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, lead? Or okay, good. You got the idea. Yeah, right. You know good. how to you're do good. it. You're, you're good. good. You're, you're ready to go. go. You're ready to go. That's good. That's, that's good. it. And you're on, oh, you're on to it. What makes sure. I didn't, uh, I didn't want to say the exact no. word. Now, right. remember, each word you have one minute. That's the key. All right? It's one minute. This is on the clock. time. Yeah, all right. This is what I need. That kind of practice. That's right. And, Ben, what makes a word a secret? You can't say it. You can't say it. Exactly. You can't say it. Now, here we go. Now, knows that, and I even know that. Now, here's the word. Uh, 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 That's how I got so many secrets, because I don't say everything to everybody. Right. There's certain he people. He knows secrets. Right. Right. Don't Bigfoot. condescend to me. Bigfoot, <laughs> here is your word. Right. Remember, don't say anything. Uh, we, have to, uh, we have to uh, I got to bounce around it. Right, right. Okay. The word is going to be Jew. You. All right, okay. I know what you do. Right. Right. Don't say anything else. You know else. where you're going to go. Here it's comes Michelle, together. your partner. Don't say a word. I won't. All right, I'll tell you when to start. I got the, my eye on the clock. <laughs> Here she comes. Here's Michelle. Now, Michelle, Bigfoot knows the word. The question is whether you can get it. I'm going to put a minute on the clock. And Bigfoot's going to use up to five different words to help to get you to say this, okay? Okay. No more than five. All right, Bigfoot. On your mark, get set, go. Um, bum. Derelict. Um, trying to think. All right, the first clue was bum. Um. Do I get more than one guess? Uh, keep, sure, well, you could keep going, but... I'm, I'm trying thinking. to think it is. I can't Hurry think. up, we only have a minute on the... No, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, give a second clue, Bigfoot. Um. All right, bum. Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Come on, this is for 500 bucks, for Christ's sake. You were doing so well. You did so well in practice. P punny. Punny? What? Um, I don't know. All right, all right, you said bum. What's your second clue? I'm trying to think of one. That's it, bum? Does he get to pass and go on to another word? No. Oh. Um, <laughs> this is the word. I don't think he knows this word. Yeah, you know the word, the word. Do you remember the word? I what, remember the you word. Want to I just don't want to say the No, exact. don't say the word. Because then uh, you're disqualified. Yeah, yeah, I know. And that's what I'm not trying to do. All right, the uh, time, the is, time up. is up. The time is up. It's obviously timed out a minute. Uh, that right. was too hard of one. Now, uh, the word was Jew. Why did you start with bum? <laughs> now, why bum? <laughs> Because I thought maybe, I don't know. Jews are bums? What are you saying? 
Very what I'm saying is, is, he's saying Jew, Jew is a somebody is a penny pincher who has to go around and pick for cans. Well, why didn't you say penny pincher? I thought that would be given the clue out. No, penny pincher isn't Jew. I was Jew. thinking of that. I didn't know I can write. I didn't know I had. Oh, right you could have said cheap or something. I didn't think of that even. Pushy, <laughs> money controlling. <laughs> Ruling Swarthy. the world. <laughs> no, that's three words. I know. Uh, uh, well, not... <laughs> all right. You failed on that one. We're going to try again. I tell right. you what we'll do, Bigfoot. We'll send you out of the room. Yeah. And let's see if Michelle can get you to say a word. All right. So, okay. so far, what's happening? No money has been won. No money has been won yet. Oh. Bigfoot... Michelle's tits aren't going She's anywhere. She's just as far away from getting new tits yeah, as no, she was when those, she walked those in. Those titties are a B cup and are going to stay that way. <laughs> is Bigfoot saying that Penny Pincher is so... Related to Jew, that right. she felt it right it's away. It's almost That's the same easy. word. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He was afraid it would have given it away. <laughs> <laughs> but he he's trying to get her to say the word. Doesn't he realize that? All right. No, Robin. <laughs> he All doesn't. Right, let's realize get it. Let's get an easy word, okay? I'm going to give you an easy word. For okay. You. All right. Coffee. The secret word will be coffee, okay? Uh, okay. Fred, you're going to put a minute on the clock. Will. Okay. Remember, you up to five clues. Okay? okay. All right. Give him time to think. You should be able to get that. Right, I'm taking, making a very easy word, yes. because I can see we're, yeah. we'll be here all day. All right, Bigfoot, come on back in. The word has been given to Michelle. She understands what the word is. Uh, Bigfoot has a file with him that he will He keeps walking around with it. He, don't, yeah. he won't even leave it here. Why do you keep that file with you constantly? Are you afraid the authorities will seize it? I'm worried about anybody looking at it. Really? Because it's that big. Okay. All right, Michelle's ready with her word. Put a minute on the clock. Try and guess what word she's trying to get you to say, okay? All right. All right, here we go, Michelle. Hot. Hi. Hot. Hot. Cold. Drink. Thirsty. Cream. Gism. Oh, jeez. All right, hold it. Sugar. Um, <laughs> coffee. Ah, yeah. $500. Oh, you want it? You want it. It is hard, but when you said jism, I thought you were way off base. Yeah, how did he ever wind up with coffee the way he was going? I like when she said hot and he goes hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said cold. Right. Well, no, you, you said got hi right. first. Yeah. All right. Very good. Now, uh, Michelle, you're going to... Let gonna me ask a question. Could she have said Starbucks? I don't uh, even like Starbucks. <laughs> could no, she have said you... Robin's ass, or is that? I don't know, know, Robin. Don't ask me. I don't know what she could have said. Uh, what do you think I know? <laughs> you know what? You know Alan Ludden. All right, Michelle, you leave the room. We're going to try and get you another five hundred dollars between you and Bigfoot. Okay, there goes Michelle. She's going to leave for a second. You know my main, uh, opinion about Starbucks? Oh, no. If I, if I wanted mud, uh, I'd go play out in the mud and make my own coffee well, that way it is. Absolutely. Scaling <laughs> commentary on Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, your coffee is so strong, you got to water it down, well, I mean, half and half. Enough for your comedy act. Hey, I'm just trying to help with the up the show. All right, Thank Bigfoot, your you. word, your next word. Now, remember, you can't say the word. <laughs> Can I'll I do my Starbucks riff? What? I'm sorry, what? I'll try to think a little clearer. All right. My mind is still a little foggy this morning. I'm not, I had enough coffee. All right, here All we right. Go. you are getting the word now. All right. Right? All right, yeah. here's the word. This is the word you got to get Michelle to say. All right, I'll All try right. to work on it better. Okay. Masturbate. Oh, masturbate. You know what oh, that means? Wait, wait, wait. All right, now, don't say anything. Yeah, but you got Here comes Michelle. This is a good word for you. Don't so don't blow it by saying the actual word. I won't try to. Uh, you can do five words. You have a minute on the clock when she sits down. Hmm. Uh, here comes Michelle. Just start thinking. That's all. That's I Get am. your thinking don't cap worry. on. I'm get thinking, thinking while you're talking. All right, good. All right, Michelle, we've given Bigfoot a word. We're going to start the clock. Go. Um... Sex. Orgasm. Um. Queers. Anal? No. Alright. Um. Here he goes. You got plenty of time. Um, mind the thing. So far we've had sex and queers. Um. <sighs> shit. Penny pincher. Is that a clue? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> So far, we have queers. Um, and what? And sex. Okay. Um, it's the Showtime show. Jeez. I'm trying to think. 
What happens? When that you thinking? said this was going to be so easy. This one was you were going to be good at. I thought I would be. What happens? I can't think. Your mind is... Any, it just goes blank at times. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. I <laughs> see Fred getting... Good. Fred says five, uh, four, three, two. two. Uh, wow. Out of time. Sorry. Tell her the word. Um, masturbating. Why queers? Yeah. <laughs> I figured she would get it right off the head on top. Why with queers? Well, what does queers usually do? You masturbate each other. All right. Okay. Uh, well, there's well, some logic. I guess there. she doesn't know that much about gay people. Well, believe me, I do. I've been around them all. All right. I've well, been around female. You know. Um, all right. Go leave the room, and we'll see if you can. All, right. all right. You and Michelle. All right. So far, you got five hundred, and and you're running out of time. Thank God you can't lose the money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we no should take help. it away. <laughs> Big foot looking like Brian Wilson in those questionable years. <laughs> All right, the next word, the next word is tampon. Tampon. Okay. Which is, you know what that is. Yes. Right? Okay. All, right. All right, Michelle, let's see if he can get it. Yikes. Right, take your time. This is for a lot of money. The cash prize, of course, for Beat the Foot. Provided by the new movie Strange Wilderness in theaters everywhere Friday. All right, Bigfoot. It's that time again. Michelle yep. knows the word. The question is, can she get you to say it? So far, you have $500 in your wallet. In your kitty. In your kitty. <laughs> All right, and Michelle, let's go. Period. Um, period. Um, Tampax? I'll take it. It's good. Oh, you're you being very him. liberal. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Me, I know about that stuff. How do you know so much about that? Uh, want me to tell you why? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Brace yourself to this one. Go ahead. Shall leave the room. All uh, right. You might want to after you hear this. Go ahead. <laughs> it don't matter if a girl has a period around me. If I'm horny enough, I'll do it with no matter what it is. If it's, I don't care how much blood's coming out. Nice. Nice. All right. Good for you. So you do know about that's it. What, that's what he make a washcloth for <laughs> in the shower. Right. Uh, Who would have known you've ever heard of a washcloth? <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right. So, so far, guess how much money you have in the kitty? A thousand dollars, not bad. The share between the two of us. Yeah. That's right. So that's, that's five hundred dollars right. a piece. Of yeah, I won't bark at that. You want to? You want to go for five hundred more, guys? Hey, I'm just. I can keep this up all day long if you want me to. All right, Michelle. Why don't you leave the room and okay. let's see if Bigfoot can't win now, you another five hundred? Now, Bigfoot, I hope this time you're going to give her better clues. Try to, and my mind goes blank. Because I got so much stuff in there. Yeah, your, your clues are sucking moose cock, man. <laughs> Excuse me, what? You heard him. Half of your game is good. The other half is, is questionable. All right. If Here's... you had as much as on my mind as I have on, you don't even understand me. Uh, that's exactly All true. right, Bigfoot, here's your next word. All right. Mexican. All right, All right, I know we'll a little bit about second. Mexican. Right, shh, don't say Do the you word. have any don't, clues? Shh, that's don't that's say. what I'm trying to think of right now. All right, right, you think I'll get Michelle back in here. Don't right. say the word. Just keep it in your mind and think of clues. Come on in, Michelle. Start thinking right. now. Right. This is called you know, Beat the that's Foot. That's what I'm trying to do. Is anything in your mind now? Everybody loves Beat the Foot, and Bigfoot is thinking, and here comes the we beautiful have to Michelle. We to play this every day. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle, we've given Bigfoot a word. He has a minute now to... Get the word conveyed to you. He's going to give you one word clues. He's been thinking. He's he's actually smart. He's thinking while we're talking. All right, Bigfoot, the clock is going now. Border. Mexican. There you go. <laughs> you did it. Wow. You guys have taken the, the 1500. Like this, like that. It's an all-purpose clue. You're like Betty White and Al. And Al word like. coming right to the word. I, I am say what border. You're like Felix and Oscar. Well, you each have won $750. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's that simple. Yeah. Michelle can get breasts and Bigfoot, you can get rid of those pinworms. <laughs> you two have Ooh, chemistry. What, what pinworms? You two have chemistry. You two have chemistry. You're a great team. A yeah. great I can see that, yeah. yeah. And she's a cute girl. Believe yeah, me, this uh, is the kind of... Some of the cuter ones I've ever dated. Yeah, All looking right. at her, you don't want to <laughs> give up women, do you? Um, huh? I said, looking at her, you don't want to give up women. Don't be too sure about uh, that. Michelle, are you feeling anything romantic toward Bigfoot? You know, it's still kind of early. I haven't fully woken up yet. Maybe after a cup of coffee, I'll, I'll change my mind. This is like when you're ever going to have romantic don't help it is. My now looks, is the time. Uh, I usually look better in this front of women. I usually let the women groom me away ever, whatever way they want me to be. You're like a Ken 
Kendall. Well, I like... But now you're lying. You've never looked better. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I'm not crazy about the beard, because it's not trimmed. I'm but not the, crazy about the hair. You know why I, I like got the long, this beard? I like the long hair. You do? Oh, you yes. know why I got this beard? Why? why? Because I'm investigating my own case clear up north, and I talked with a lawyer, and I have every right to do it as long as I'm investigating my case personally. So you're you mean undercover. you have a beard? Yes, that's you're what... saying you grew a beard so people wouldn't recognize you. Yeah, and that way I'd fed into the public. Right. I don't know it was you. to fed into the public. Are you J. Edgar Bigfoot? J. or your what? what you so mean? you're telling me that this beard is so that you can investigate your own case and be undercover and no one will know it's Bigfoot. Exactly, and that's why I can't say where I'm at. And every time I open my mouth to the wrong person, he turn around and run their mouth to the wrong person, and it gets back to the landlord or whoever. So where, where have you gone to investigate your own case where they don't recognize you? Are you really you? fooling people? Yeah, I mean, did you go back to the hospital you're saying? No, 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 no. I got more fucking secrets than that. Oh, really? I got places where I can hide whatever I want. Right. So have you learned? That's like I got a magic cure for headaches that is better in Tylenol. You what have you a magic cure? Yes. What do you do, shut up? <laughs> well, I, well, I, well, I wouldn't team. get into that We're point. You remind me of Fletch. You ever see that movie? You ever you heard of 500 milligrams of Vicodin snorting it up your nose? I've heard of that. Talking. All right. All that right. cures an instant headache just like that. That'll cure your part headache and life. Believe me, no, no doctor prescribed me this. Are you I hold, are you this holding, on my own. You holding any Vicodins? You got any on you? You think I'd tell you if I did? I'll buy them from you. I know where to get them. You have to walk. I mean, not walk. You'd have to more like drive. I'll drive you there. Yeah, all the way up to Vermont. Oh, right. Yeah, you got to go to Vermont and get this. I've driven with, to Armand? Yeah, don't know where Vermont is? That's, I, that's north from here. But you're suing them, so we might want to stay out of there. <laughs> All right, look. No, you you walk with me, you'll be safe. It, 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 just, the other people are pretty whacked in the head. Oh. Uh, Kevin, Clu you're, Kevin, Clu Kevin, Clu including the police department up there. Uh, Kevin, you're on the air in Plattsburgh, New York. Hey, Howard, how's it going? Good. Hey, uh, I'm, I just wanted. why do you give all these people who just pretty much shit on you so much sympathy? Um, why can't, why don't you get so this much is a, We're doing off? with Bigfoot now. We, he's here he with Michelle. He's fair and square, man. Yeah, hey, Bigfoot, too. I mean, oh, I, I know, I'm, I'm sort of, I've been, I was on. All right, I, I can't put up with this. Well, well yeah, Bigfoot, I don't blame you. Bigfoot, is it odd that I'm really excited about going with him to get Viking? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing odd in light of what happened to you yesterday, no. no. Uh, let me tell you something, Michelle. You're well on your way toward a breast implant operation. Now, have you got any money uh, other than the money we have saved toward breast implants? I have some. I, okay. I've been you trying know. to save here. Yeah. Right. Well, will the 750 help you? Anything will help. Good. All right. So you've earned $750. That's not bad, Michelle, for a... Ten minutes work. Well, Definitely Michelle, not. if we if we can give you advice as breast implant experts, <laughs> wait till you get the right amount. Don't get a half-assed job. Yeah, and, don't get one breast done at a time. So you need a <laughs> reputable doctor with references. Stand sideways. So, Michelle, we know what you're going to do with the money, but Bigfoot, yeah. what are you going to do with the uh, 750 you've just earned? I've been working on trying to get my car back on the road. You Why don't realize do you how bad that car? thing needs to be fixed. Yeah. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? You don't need a car. We want to bet on that? <laughs> Who's uh, going to get the Viking? Huh? Yes. What is it, Sal? Uh, I think I think you're beautiful, Michelle. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you I'm just much. curious, you know, based on the fact that you're on the show, you want some money. Can we just get a, out of curiosity, take a look at your boobs so we can get a before and after? Um, not for seven fifty. <laughs> uh, she's looking for more than that. Oh, so you want some you extra money? A boob job. <laughs> I, I have. Uh, These don't work for nothing. Hold on. Pay them I have seven dollars right here. <laughs> how about how about I just I can do? You would get her to work up a sweat. How about two tickets to see me at Man Bay? Better than that, Sal. Does that include airfare? Yeah, don't have the wrong direction. What is that, Gary? I got a little money if you need some. What do you have? You got $500 for Pro Flowers. Whoa. You want an additional 500 to show us your boobs? Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. $500 Just a from flash? Pro yeah. Flowers. Okay. That, well, a little more than a flash for 500 <laughs> yeah. Is everybody allowed to see or are only certain, certain people? $100 um, a second, so we need at least five seconds. Five seconds? Yeah. All right. Who's counting? Uh, $50 a second, I'll 10 count. seconds. You're going to count? Sweetie, yeah. Which, which I'll, way I'll do you want one me Mississippi. to face? Uh, face <laughs> me, of course. Turn that way. Turn Turn that yeah, way. Robin, I'm <laughs> sorry. Let's see. Let me see what they look like. <laughs> All right. Tell me when. Go ahead now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Can I tell you something? Dippy, dippy. Those are nice. They're very they're cute, they're small, they're perky, but, you know, 
She like just a little, wants a little side. Well, they are. Something. Yeah. Those are not bad, my <laughs> dear. They look very nice. Thank you. Well, you've now taken 750 and turned it into, now I'll do the math for you. Very good, you probably Howard. can't do it on your own now. <laughs> 750. If you want some help from Bigfoot, he's here. Plus, help me out on this, Bigfoot. Well, it's 1250. Plus, oh, oh <laughs> stop. You're the one with the I'm sorry. I don't think that we have that kind of there. time. What is that, Bigfoot? You're the one with dust over there, and your calculator probably over there somewhere. It is. Right. He still won't get it. Eh? <laughs> All right, so uh, not only do we have our friends at Strange Wilderness to thank for this uh, great money uh, exchange, but also we had $500 cash thrown in there from ProFlowers.com. And let me remind you to order your Valentine's Day flowers today at ProFlowers.com. Flowers.com. Click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner and enter code 100. And, uh, you know, Bigfoot, you made some nice money today. Good yeah, how much money did I make? 750 Oh, that's good. On top of what I just walked in here with, it. I mean, what mm -hmm. I just got today just for yes. walking it. That's right. Yeah. And we'll validate yeah. your parking. How's Value, that? What, what, what? All right. Well, from all your friends at Beat the Foot... Is that the only game I was enjoying? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take another 500 if you have a... Let's see if Bigfoot earn another 500, but what could That'd be the game? That's a good idea. I'm taking Bigfoot over to Urban Outfitters with his money. You know? We're going <laughs> to get some clothes, man. I just ran out of games, uh, that's all. I love that game. I don't know. Beat the foot. What can we make... For, yeah, it's so rare that we get him here. What can we I make know, him do? Let's see. Let me think for a second. Do I have a game that he could play? I could uh, give him the... Uh, Cliff Pallet name game. Ooh. Bigfoot, would you eat a newspaper? For five hundred. For five hundred dollars. Uh, I don't think so. I'm not that much into paper. But for money, though. For money, I probably would. Yeah. You would eat a newspaper for five hundred bucks? Not the whole thing. How, how much like, could how you much? eat? How much you want to eat? I don't know. Here. How eat, much newspaper? Eat, <laughs> eat the Linda Stasi section. <laughs> Why you don't like her? The no. television section. <laughs> you think you would you eat this? You think it would cause gas? Uh, I've been having a lot of uh, gas uh, problems. It doesn't seem very safe to me, Artie. I wouldn't do uh, that. Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah, the ink, might, ink. the ink might get me sick. What is it, Gary? I'm printing up some questions. We want to find out how much is, is Bigfoot smarter than a fifth grader? Okay, and if he gets five right, I'll give him an additional $500 thanks to our friends at ProFlowers. Five right? Five right. Five what? How about, if you get three, how about if you get three out of five right? Questions. Don't matter. You're the, you're the, you're the boss. Are right. you smarter than a fifth grader, do you think? I got a sixth grade education. All right. We can that, play. It, Take it, that, it, Robin. It, 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 yeah, Robin, fuck you. He has a sixth grade education from special ed. Yeah. On right. a special bus at that. Oh, on a special bus. Well, good for you. What do you mean a special bus? What did the bus look like that made it so special? Because he had a, uh, I was the only one he could transport because everybody else could pick on me and harass me or... So you had a whole bus all to yourself? Yeah. Wow. Or a whole car or whatever and a personal driver and all that. Wow, look at you. Good for you. Uh, just you going are special. On. You know, you quite, quite a long time in my life. You live a charmed life. <laughs> well, you know, Robin's right. No wonder you were in special ed. You're special. Yeah. I mean, that's imagine. what I've been trying to point out to you, and you just don't seem to get it yet. I'm trying to learn. All right, for an additional... Are you a slow learner, too? Or oh, you? yes. Trust me. <laughs> I was wondering about that. I was having trouble with 750 plus 500. <laughs> well, I'll tell I you get what. confusion in there. How old were you in the sixth grade? Were you like 40 years old? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no. You were a kid, graduate? right? Yeah. No. Okay. All right, here's your first question. Get three of these right. All right, I'll try to. Three out of five. All right. All right. Let me see if I can find one that you would get. Some of these, I think, are too hard. I think they're all too you're, hard. You're underestimating his education. I mean, every one of these is too hard. Okay. He's not going to get one of them. Uh, what is an example? All right. What was the first name of the famous composer Beethoven? Oh, oh, oh. Beethoven. No. I don't even have the foggy side That's what I told Come you. on, that's yeah. easy. But, you know, we're t dealing with big mm. Yeah, but it's one of those things that flows Gary, off the Why don't we yeah, find out if he's uh, smarter I than a second so. grade? All right, let's go down to a second grade. <laughs> like that. Well, that's more like college stuff at this. <laughs> Like, do that, that, like that what, second what, or third what, one. What college do you think I went to? Wait a minute, how about this? What's Beethoven's last name? Beethoven? Yeah. I don't have the foggy side. Yeah, I never listened to Beethoven. <laughs> At least he knows you would to listen to Want to take a guess? What is Beethoven's last name? Oh. Try and take a guess. Come on, dude. Uh, I don't have the foggiest idea. Take Can a you guess. Take a guess. Make up a name or something. I'm trying to think of one. Is it uh, right. something maybe somewhere close to it? 
All right. Well, you don't know his oh, first name. Well, first of all, powers of deduction tell you no parent's going to name a kid something that rhymes with his with Beethoven. <laughs> In other words, that would be mean. I know. Right. I'm trying right. to think. Okay. All right. So, what was Beethoven's last name? You want to take a crack at the first name, then? I don't have the fog. You say I'll take yet. either the first or the last name. <laughs> Beethoven's first or last name. Oh, what the fuck was that guy's name? Uh, oh, it's a certain name I got on my mind, and I can't think of it. Well, yeah, I have to ask you to hurry. Uh, t Tiny Tim or whatever. Tiny Tim Beethoven? No. Yeah. What was Ludwig von Beethoven's name? All right, let me ask you one last time. What was Ludwig von Beethoven's last name? I don't have the fog. All right. Side All right, give us his first name. Ludwig von Beethoven. What, was what his is his first, first name? name? I'll take the first or the last. I don't have any idea. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer. How about the middle name? All right, give me Ludwig van Beethoven's middle name. I don't even know that. All right. Uh, All, right. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Do you want to tell him the answer? Uh, you want me to give you the answer? Go ahead. Beethoven's name was Beethoven. Ludwig why van Beethoven's I know name. That? Why? Yeah, why didn't you know that? Well, you have a sixth grade education. Well, I didn't think of, think of that. But Bigfoot, when he kept saying, what is Beethoven's name, what did you think Beethoven was? I don't know, a piano player? Right. Yeah, but his name was Beethoven. And oh, his... I didn't know that was the word I was supposed to say. All right, okay, forget it. <laughs> I <laughs> thought he was a Jew. <laughs> he was a bum. <laughs> Let me see if I can find one. I never like... heard of him before. <laughs> All right, I think the second or third one about the House of Reps might, might work. No, nah, he'll oh, never get that. House of Reps? <laughs> These are really tough. All right. Can you do something like the name the first president? No, okay. Here, I'll give you a good, an easy one. All right. How many nickels are there in a dollar? Jeez. Twenty. Oh. Well, there you go. He's got it right. That's one right. That's it. No, he needs Good. two more. Oh, he, needs he needs two, two more. more. Right. <laughs> you want to end it? All right. Well, how, who was the first I'll give president? You... Can that be one? No, that's not one of the questions. No. No. It's gonna be all math. This is an easy one. I want to see you win the money. Yeah. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? Grant's tomb? Yeah. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? Grant? That's Very right. Very good. Nice. I thought you were going to say Beethoven. <laughs> no, I... No, you're right, Grant. I'm starting to get it. It's just coming in there slowly. <laughs> seeping in. All right. Try the first president. Come on. All right. Who is the first president? Oh, my word. All right. Uh, well, this is your fourth question. You got two right. All you need is one more. Uh, you missed out on Beethoven. We celebrate his birthday every year. President Ford? Oh, no, he was not the first. Oh, I'm I sorry. don't know. President Washington. Washington. George Washington. You Ooh. never heard of George Washington? No. You dumb shit. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, you still have one more question. You get this one right, you win the 500, you get it wrong, we can't give you the 500. All right. All right, right. That's fair enough. I'll see what I can do. Name All two right. of the Beastie Boys. Oh, oh stop oh, it. We'll take real or nickname. I'm trying to, okay. <laughs> what color is Gary's white horse? Wait. You win. Thank you. No, Gary does you not win work. another $500. Anybody going to have got that? I don't know. I don't know about that. You pretty, you pretty near gave it to me. How many? Well, oh, what right. what we, was Gary White Horse? Right. Yeah, but we gave you Ludwig von Be Beethoven. You're going to do anything with that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little brain dead. <laughs> How many? Uh, this is something only you will know. How many Burger King Whopper boxes can you fit in your ass <laughs> i don't know depending on how pa you know i was going to ask you the question and i was afraid you wouldn't get it right what would you have said if i said what weighs more a pound of feathers or a pound of bricks a pound of i'm um, a pound of bricks okay no. all right well it's close enough fell it's for it the feathers don't weigh hardly nothing right <sighs> anybody knows that but it's a pound of feathers oh a pound of feathers and a Versus pound of bricks what weighs more? 
the bricks. <laughs> All right. All right. Listen to By me. By the way, I've always believed that to be true, too. <laughs> Michelle, I want to congratulate you. The brick Bigfoot. is always hard, harder, I mean, heavier and feathers. Bigfoot, not only did Michelle win 1250 as she points out right. but you won 1250 $1, dollars. good maybe You're i can get some money. insurance on my car you know how much maybe insurance is in how much is there? insurance for my car yeah. it's 380 dollars just to get it started wow well this will put I you well i put full coverage and rental insurance in the whole nine yards uh, that rental way insurance. if it blows up in smoke that way it fully cover it is like uh Whatever well, the listen, value is worth. The cash prizes for Beat the Foot were provided not only by this new wonderful movie, Strange Wilderness, which is a comedy that uh, these guys go in search of Bigfoot, actually. And here he is right in our <laughs> studio. It's in theaters everywhere Friday. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, and also I want to thank our, our dear friends at ProFlowers.com. Order your Valentine's Day flowers today at proflowers.com. Click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner and enter the code 100. Michelle, thank Bigfoot, you. Bigfoot, thank, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, if you can I'll... find a girl, there's a sun valentine in flowers, too. Right, Bigfoot is out of the romance business, I think. Yeah, well... Some, some girl is honest and not want to take me for my just my money and my... Uh, <laughs> Good luck, wh yeah. wh Whatever I can get her. Well, I want to thank you also for not touching Michelle. That was gentlemanly of you. I don't want you touching her. Well, don't worry. I, I, I'm not that way. I know that. I know. And you're a gentleman. And yeah. he's, he's congratulating you on that. What That's is that? good. I'm glad. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much, Bigfoot. Great no to see problem. you. No we got in touch with you. And, Michelle, congratulations. You've got a quite a tidy sum there towards your breast. I do. Employee. Thank you very much. All right. Real good. And we'll be back right after these words. Let's talk about the uh, beat the foot and how all that came together. How do you guys think Bigfoot looked today? Awesome. As weird as he's ever looked. Look like Bobby Fischer. Well, he said he was in disguise, right? Well, the only disguise was that he hasn't cut his hair or his beard in seven or eight months. And, uh, Michelle, did you think she needed those implants that she was playing for? I actually didn't think she needed them. I think she should take the money and go buy, like, a new dress or something. Beautiful boobs. No, oh, but some new clothes. I mean, not that she needed that. I'm just saying, go spend it on something you want. She doesn't need boobs. Yeah, she, she needs has very cute yeah. breasts. I mean, you, she lifted her shirt, and they look She's they look only going to fuck it up. I'm telling you. I would do a little lipo on the ass and thighs, and I think she'd be perfect. That's where I would put that money. Her butt was a little big. You didn't even see it. So they played Beat the Foot. Well, here's a little bit of that game. Michelle's ready with her word. <laughs> Put a minute on the clock. Try and guess what word she's trying to get you to say, okay? All right. All right, here we go, Michelle. Hot. Hi. Hot. Hot. Cold. Drink. Thirsty. Cream. Gizm. Oh, jeez. All right, all Sugar. Sugar. Um... Coffee? Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Wow. $500. Oh, you want it? You want it. Now, i got to tell you, you know, you, you have to be a little bit older, but if you watch The Odd Couple, when they played Password, John and I were just laughing our ass off, yeah. and we... We could we last night we got the ability to uh, contribute words for Bigfoot to use today. So of course I put in pencil. And what did you put in, John? I put in ridiculous and bird. And I was going to put Aristophanes, but I don't think anybody would get the joke. <laughs> it's a, if you, you have to see the episode to know, but it's legendary. Uh, Wolf and Philly, you're on the wrap up show. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Wolf. Hey, uh, Bigfoot is by far one of my favorite whack packers. Uh, I truly like the guys that are just uh, incoherent. They're not really, uh, they have no awareness that they're even on the air. I think that makes them so much better. Would you rank Bigfoot uh, probably second to Beetlejuice in that category? I, I don't even know if he's aware that he's speaking to millions of people. He just seems like he has no clue at all. So you ask me to rank him in terms of uh, whack packers of all time or in terms of whack packers who don't have the ability to comprehend that they're on the air. Uh, do both, actually. Because you know what? I, you know, Beetlejuice is high up. Um, Hank, God, Hank was a, you know, was a home run almost every time he came in. Um, Elephant Boy had his day you know, in the, in the mid-'80s. But Bigfoot is really good. He really is very good. Who would you okay. say of the Whack Pack is the most aware of be when they're here? Like, they, they know what's going on, but they just can't help themselves through whatever Wendy. functions. Wendy, Wendy, the, she, she's. You think she's aware? She's aware. She's here. I would say she knows she's on the radio. No, I think. I I, know. <laughs> I I would. I would think. It's you're high right. Pitch. High pitch. Yeah. John the Stutter is that what you said. Yeah. John yeah. the Stutter is probably the smartest whack packer. I would go with. Don't you think? Crackhead Bob. Crackhead no. Bob. He just can't communicate. He can't communicate. He's not. But 
But I think John's more politically um, aware of what's going on. Well, in the this world. is what's so weird about Bigfoot. Like, I mean, we heard the game. You hear how he talks. But then he talks about, I need to get auto insurance. Like, would you ever think that he... Would care? Yeah, that he need that he's like, oh, I need some money to get auto insurance before I drive my car. But see, that's why Bigfoot... But Bigfoot reminds me of, like, the homeless game. Right. Because there's no rhyme or reason to what they know. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, Bigfoot... Things that you're sure he won't know, he knows. Or Twenty and, nickels, and you don't know what sticks. To, you don't know what sticks to the brain, and you could spend your whole life studying him and thinking you have it figured out. And it's just it's random. It's completely random. Yeah. On Beethoven's you name. Think, right. You think Bigfoot knows though that he is actually on the radio? That he, yes, that he's, he absolutely like, knows because he gets okay. he gets a lot of feedback, so he's aware. Okay. All right. Thanks for the call, Wolf. Let's go over to Chicago and talk to Ed. Ed, you're on the wrap-up show. Yeah, well, I just wanted to call and say I really enjoy Bigfoot, and 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 his he's very surprising with his intellect. Uh, you could think he's a complete idiot, and all of a sudden, like you said, he he just pulls something out. Like, wow, that was really remarkable. Uh, I think he's like a, a savant where he can maybe count toothpicks uh, falling out of a, out of a box, uh, you know, without any problems. But he, you know, he can't uh, catch on to hey, what's Beethoven's uh, last name? So he, he's actually an, a, a genius, uh, I think. I, I think he's more like an idiot moron savant. Like, he's usually an idiot. Every once in a while, he rises up to the level of moron. <laughs> and then sometimes yeah. savant. Uh, that's giving him a lot of credit. But he, he's wonderful for the show. I mean, he, he, he's, uh, he's outstanding. Uh, he got he got the biggest laugh in the back today when uh, the, the password was Jew. And, <laughs> and <laughs> what did he say? Bum. 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 Right. And then had nothing else. <laughs> and then afterwards when he has described, he's like, oh, penny pinching. <laughs> I'll tell you, the way we found him, of all the contests we've ever done in the history of the show, with the exception of Get John's Job, has really delivered. He really is our show's next great whack pack. Yeah. He really became that. Hey, you want me to lick your ass? Uh, Bigfoot, you're on the air in Newport, Vermont. Yeah, are you there? Is this, is this Howard Stern? Yes. All right, I want to make sure. If I want this over the radio, and I don't care who's listening to this. Remember that lady I was saying in Newport it is? At, um, what, what, what's her name? I don't want to say her name. Well, whatever it is. No, I don't want addresses. Huh? What? I don't want you to give addresses or names. All right, I didn't realize that. Uh, All right, and she had me thrown out by the cops yesterday and everything, and the only excuse I had left to go to was jail. And, and I and I and I called Randy Sanders and had to purposely hire him for twenty dollars to come and get me out of the police station. All right, all right, Bigfoot. I, I, I'll tell you the truth. I got to get to news. It's <laughs> already, what are you talking about? I got to get to news. It's already nineteen past the hour. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, I well, what do you think this is? <laughs> well, this is your news. That's true. It's 19 past the hour. Yeah, it's the truth. I got fucking cops that can verify it. I got wings that can verify it. <laughs> All right. And what 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 do you need me to do? I need you to fucking straighten this fucking war out with these landlords up here. Are obviously battling against me All right, to it keep seems me that... fucking from even waiting anywhere. Huh? <laughs> It well, it seems it seems more. that Bigfoot once again has gotten into an altercation with how his landlord. How is it your job to make the landlords <laughs> keep him? Uh, Bigfoot, I don't know how to uh, s s solve this for you. I have to admit that you've stumped me with this one. <laughs> yeah, I paid the like three hundred dollars and it was somewhere, and I weren't getting stay there. I, I paid it on the first, and she uh, pulled me out on the thirteenth. Huh? Yeah. In the uh, afternoon. Clearly you have a problem. And it was snowing yesterday. I don't know why a landlord would have any problems with you. <laughs> well, you better talk to Space and a few other of those crooked landlords in Newport, Vermont. Did you shit on her car again? I'll bring them right to you. I if I ask you, I'll get a camera crew up here, and I'll have the camera crew and bring them right to the front door to you. Let me ask you something, Bigfoot. This keeps happening to you. Do you think it could be you? I can hear you. <laughs> How great is it to hear Robin go, let me ask you something, Bigfoot? <laughs> now, I thought Vermont had a restraining order on you. In the whole of the state? You can't be within 100 feet of Vermont. I thought Vermont had a restraining order. I'm in Vermont, so. What? I'm still in Vermont. I know. Don't they have a restraining order? I've got another hiding place. All right. <laughs> Bigfoot, I don't think I can solve this right now. I feel your pain. I'm sorry you're going through this. I can barely hear you. 
I, uh, uh, I, uh, I, I hung up. I, I can't. I can't spend all day on this. I don't know how to solve it. Oh, it's so. This universe is so great. <laughs> Eric the Midget and Bigfoot. I got a Bigfoot game we could play. Will that help him? No, it'll help us. <laughs> all right, I'm going to give Bigfoot a word. Well, I didn't give him the board. Someone gave him a word. Maybe Sal or Richard or one of those guys. And you have to guess what letter he's going to use to the first letter in that word. Does he know the first letter? Okay. Really? Yeah, that's the game. All right. You like that game? It sounds intriguing. All right. And alphabet. very simple. All right. The first word is alphabet. And Al will he know the first letter? Well, we could play it that way, or we could play what letter you think he's going to use. Oh, jeez. Uh, I, I don't think he'll know the first letter of anything. Alphabet. Al. Well, he can't read, L. can he? I don't know. Get he cannot read? No. So he'll say L. Alphabet. <laughs> Does he know all the letters? That's another <laughs> Let good me question. see what he says. Here, hold on. Okay, here we go. Alphabet. What do you want to know about that? What letter does it start with? A. Oh. See? See? See how much you know? He got it right. Maybe I should let a listener in on this. Want some money. I got $500 cash from Beeceuticals, all natural organic skincare products. Go to healthfromthehive.com and give Bees a chance. Let's see. Uh, let's go to this guy, Mark. Mark, you there? Hey, now. Hey, now. You want to win 500 Hell yeah. All right. It's from Beeceuticals. It's my cousin's company. I know. Shit's good. I see it everywhere. Yeah, it's good stuff. It uh, clears up your skin, the whole thing, man. Especially you get all rough and patchy during the winter. My elbows get all screwed up. But they've got all kinds of facial, lip stuff, all made naturally, organically from bees. And they're helping save the bees because all the bees are disappearing. But all right. So will Bigfoot know the next one? That's what you got to answer. All right. Here we go. Let's hear the word. Dog. 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 Well, will he know that that starts with the letter D? Absolutely. You say he knows? Oh, yeah. Robin, do you think I he knows? I say he might have known the first letter of the alphabet, but that's it. Uh... Yeah, I think what happened is he got it right because he figured out the first letter of the alphabet is A, but yeah. he didn't realize the, they were asking him to spell the word. Right. Yeah, you're right. Ah. I think you bet. Well, all right. You say he knows? Yeah. All right, here we go. I think Robin might be right here. First letter in it? Yeah. B. B. Say. <laughs> what do you say, B or D? B. B. I'll give you another one. All right. I'll give you another shot. I'll give you, uh, I'll tell you what. See, he's going A, B, C. I mean, I don't know how much of the alphabet he knows, but that's what he's doing. All right, I'll tell you what. You get the next one right. You get the next. Hmm. All right, let's say I'll take the next three. You if, you get, if you get two out of three right, I'll give you 500 bucks. How's right. that? Okay. Forget that one. That was a practice one. Okay. Anus. 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 He might get that. I don't name. know. Well, he's kind of tricky, though. No, what do you say? Does Bigfoot know anus? anus? Uh, any thing? help in the background, Adi? <laughs> oh, God, dude. I don't... <laughs> it's a crap shoot. Uh, Robin, what do you say? You seem to be well, keyed in. Well, again, he's hearing the A. That might be a tip-off yeah. to him. Yeah, I say he knows it. All right, yeah, I'll give it a yeah. All right. K? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm Z off. Sorry, man. I thought you'd know it. <laughs> I have a theory that Bigfoot's I, a dumb guy. I thought you said canis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got one wrong. If you get the next two right, you get 500 bucks. How's that? Okay. Cat. K cat. Oh, the problem with this game is he's got to get some of them right. Yeah, but he knows how to spell cat, so that's got to be, yeah. He didn't know dog. That's true. Fred, does he know how to spell cat, the first letter? God, he's gotten... Yes, I'll say yes. Robin, what do you say? Maybe, because in the early years of school, he probably saw a cat. All right. I uh, think he uh, just saw Cat Williams on HBO, and we'll get yeah. along. Okay, Mark, what do you say? Yeah, it's got to be. He's got to say yeah. Come will, on. All right. Will, will uh, we accept K? Based on dog, I'm saying no. No, it's got to be a C. Here we go. C. Uh -huh. Oh, he got it. He got it. Okay. You're okay. All right, nice. I'm doing terrible at this game. All right. Get the next one right, I'll give you 500 bucks from Beeceuticals. Beautiful. You're right, like Hillary. Yeah. Coming back. Baby. Zoological. Oh, Zoological. Oh, Jesus. Robin, you say forget it? Yeah. All right. Robin says no. Fred? 
Fuck no. Fuck no. No, yeah, no fucking way. All right, let's see. Zoological. Uh, Z. Oh! Yeah, if you knew zoo. Do that. Well, if you knew zoo. Dude, you blew it. Oh, man. Give him another chance. Too. I have a, uh, an RV. I was, I was, uh... Give Leroy a chance? Give Leroy a chance. Give All right. a chance. I'm going to give you... Give Rodney. <laughs> I'm going to give you one more. It's all do or die on this. If you all get right. this right, you get the 500. Thank you don't get it right, i got to hang up. All right. All right. That's fair enough, right? All right. Yep. All right here we go. Wordsmith. Wordsmith. Robin. <sighs> no way. Fred. I'm very confident with this one. No. All right. Mark. i got to go with Fred. Fred's a genius on the fucking show. Oh, I didn't know, get so. zoological. All right. You say no, Mark? Yeah, I say no. Wordsmith. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I got to guess on a letter or? Yeah. Um, Just getting See, game. I don't know. Good. Yeah, all right. Five hundred dollars uh, is yours. Oh, by the way, I uh, I had an RV that um I I still have it runs and drives, but I was thinking of giving it to Bigfoot. Well, that's very nice of you. If you'd like to do that, why don't you talk to our screener when they pick up the phone to uh, get your address for your money? Absolutely. Thanks. Bob. All right, Mark. Hold on. All right, we'll put Mark on hold. He won himself five hundred dollars. Was no uh, easy task. Uh, that's uh, five hundred cash from Beeceuticals, all natural, organic skincare products. And you know what? Go to healthfromthehive dot com. Check out the website and give bees a chance. And by that I mean, you know, some of the proceeds go to helping bees. And bees are disappearing from the planet. We need them. So that's a good cause. All right. Uh, let me just just for shits and giggles, as they say, Robin. Here mm -hmm. we go. Bigfoot. Does he know Bigfoot, what it Begins starts with? Begins with a B, huh? Shouldn't he know how to spell his own name? You would think. He probably signs autographs. Yeah, he's got to know that. Although he probably signs it with his real name. X. What do you say, Fred? Bigfoot. Ooh, I, I'm in agreement with Robin on this. It's, it, yeah. Do we I'll know his know. real name? Yeah, so he said it on the air, like Mark or something. Mark, <clears throat> Mark Shaw. Yeah. Junior. Mm. Yes, because remember when he was yelling at himself in that phony phone call? Mm -hmm. he, here, here, listen to this. In that phony phone call, he gives out his real name. Yeah, he does. <laughs> this is where we put a tape of Bigfoot on to talk to Bigfoot. <laughs> uh, you heard it already. I'm not going to play it again. All right, let's see if he knows Bigfoot. B, I B. know that. Oh, he knows it. See? I think he's see, got... everything else has been a guess. Now he's getting all uppity. Dude, I mean, my, what am I? What am I? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I mean, dog was hard, but... <laughs> Toy. I say no. He'll know it. No, he'll no. Know. I think no. he'll know I'll bet toy. you on that. Yeah? I'll bet you 50 bucks. All right, I got a 50. I'll make it half a sheet. Okay. I'm saying that he will know. No way. If he didn't know Why dog. Why do you think he knows this? Toy. Yeah. I think he'll know it. I just, it's call, the easiest $50 I ever made. Call it a hunch. All right, here we go. 50 bucks, dude. What's that look like, my friend? Is that a 50? Let me see. All right. That is a 50. Can't get me out of bed. All right. Here we go. B. Give me my 50. What did he say? He B. B. Give me my 50. Did he think he... My favorite toy is a ball. Look at this, Robin. 50 right here. There you go. Yeah. You know what? I should act like my bookie and claim Chapter 11. You broke. Now I got the fever. Let's do it again. All right, oh, there you go. Shit. All right, I, I'm playing with the house's money. Let's get some coke, man. Let's fucking drink. Letter. Letter. No, I go a thousand. He's got twenty six <laughs> choices. A thousand. I say he doesn't know it. Want to go another fifty? What the fuck? I'll say whatever the opposite of your is to get okay. the, to get the action. <laughs> All right, you really want action on that? He's no way he knows. Letter. That. Letter. He, he sees. You know, uh, the post office. I say no way. Here we go. L. No! What did you bet? 50. Oh, so you gave it right back. <laughs> Just handing him back, it's 50. Now who's the jerk off? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you won. I didn't want to hold on to your fist. Oh, stop it. And after that story, your bookie can't give you the That's 18 right. Grand. Can you take Artie's money? Yeah, I mean, the, guy, the guy wins $18,000 and the bookie can't pay him. I mean, excuse me, $78,000. 78, he, he gave me 18 Gs. He oh. fucked me out of 60 and his wife's upset with me. Yeah, yeah, Artie won and lost. Yeah, you're a bad person. Wife's upset. Tell a psychic. Oh, stop. I don't care. No, no tell telephone. Tell a psychic. No, no tell, telephone. Tell a psychic. I'll bet you my cell phone and the iPod. <laughs> Benji's iPod? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Rob? You think he knows telepsychic? 
I He's going to come up with a T again, I think. Hello, tell us. I think it's time for him to get something right. Let's see. No. D? Oh, okay. no. Is that right? No, but it was close. I thought so. You were close. I would have said D, too. I'm surprised Richard knows this. Mm. <laughs> Psycho. No way. Definitely not. No fucking way. Unless he saw the movie. Um, yeah, or unless he's seen his uh, report of Well, evaluation. that's right. See, guys like that in and out of places like that might know that. I'll go 50 on that if you want. There's no you're way. Going you're going to lose you're going to lose your money. No. I got to do it. You want to bet 50? <laughs> well, Fred's theory about these guys no. going out a psychopathic he didn't, didn't read it and pay attention bet it? when he went All in right, there. Fine, God, fuck it. Now fuck you, the bet. Fuck the ruined. bet. I don't want to take your money. S. C. Fuck. But that's a But that's good actually a pretty good guess. Yeah. That is good. All let's right, let's anyway. face it, it's not a good guess. It's it's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a tape of uh, Bigfoot called in. I know uh, you're a big fan of Bigfoots. Love Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, Bigfoot called in, and I guess he was tasered. But you got to oh like a lot of you know you know when he speaks a lot of times you can't understand him, <laughs> but if you kind of hang in there with this you'll yeah. hear that it's already funny. Yeah. All right, who, who's this? Bigfoot? Yeah, this is Bigfoot. Remember you I told you I wanted to be tasered at you? Yeah. What what happened? It ended up happening. Well, what happened? What happened is a bunch of teenagers been up here harassing me. I've been charged with another charges for disorder and conduct to it. And, um, um, it's quite a fucking mess. I'm going to anger management classes. Wait, did the cops come to your house? We didn't go to my house, no. I was out, out on the street. And what happened? The cops approached you? Yeah, he approached me and he attacked me with a taser gun. Well, what did he say to you? He said, you need to put my cop cup down, and I want to put my cop cup down at you, and he ended up tasering me. Um, what did it feel like? For what it felt like, a big fucking shock it is. I had a big fucking explosion come out of my head. And what happened then? You fell to the ground? Yeah, I fell to the ground, yeah. I got a big bruise on top of my forehead. Did you scream? I didn't scream, no. So what happened then? He arrested you? Yeah, he arrested me. And so you, but I thought you said you wanted to be tasered. Yeah, I wanted to be tasered. I didn't think he had the balls to taser me, and he did. So, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just want to let you know what it is. I'm, uh, I'm okay. All right, that's good to know, man. Very good. Yeah. All right, um, we're going to get you back on the show to talk about that sometime soon. All right, I figured you probably would. That's why I figured I'd contact you and let you know what, what, what happened to me. All right, very good. Do you it, it, it took me a few days to recuperate from it. All right, well, oh, it did? Why? What happened? The way it happened, he brought me up here with chemicals with his, or he would calm me down because I was mostly all upset. What kind of chemicals? The chemicals would calm me down. Wow. For, for my ner nervous disorder. Wow. All right. And if somebody else happens, I'll let you know. All right, very good. Keep me updated. I will. All right, buddy. All right, bye. All right, bye now. All right, could you follow that? <laughs> no. <laughs> You really couldn't? No, I couldn't. I want those medications uh, to calm down my nerves. Bigfoot was tasered by the police. He was walking around with his coffee cup, I think he said. Yeah. They and told him to put it down. I heard that part. Yeah, and then he said he didn't think the cops had the balls to taser him, and then they did, <laughs> and then they arrested him. And then they had to calm him down for two days by giving him some sort of tranquilizer. Uh. It took him two... I can't believe he knows the word recuperate. That was pretty good. <laughs> took me two days to recuperate, it is. And that's one of those words they throw around, around a lot of rehabs and institutions. Oh, okay. I, I bet he picked it up. Oh, what about this one? Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you gonna... Yeah, any way you want it. Let me bring him in. Mark it, the Bagger. The way you need one of our favorites. Any way you gonna... The Whack Pack, uh, did they ever play this? They, they, they were asked about Sarah Palin. Really? I don't think they liked them. They didn't like that choice. Let me see here. I'll play a little of that. Whack Pack feedback with a retarded child and a pregnant 17 year old daughter. Should Sarah Palin be vice president? She said just take your uh, uh, retarded kid. It costs too much money for a babysitter. I think she should take care of the retarded kid. 
Because the kid could get in lots of trouble, and if she's running for president, uh, she's not around, and the kid might end up and then up in. Well, the Wendy makes a good point. I mean, if you're having five children, what are you doing busy with uh, uh, working? So, I mean, this is a very demanding job. Could you? I mean, that is an issue. Do you really have time? Let's say she, let's say McCain drops dead. The guy's got a lot of carcinomas. He's got a lot of right. He's got he's got problems. He's seventy two year old. He was tortured for like six years. That's you don't right. Think that affected his health. If he drops dead. She's the president. She's got time for a retarded child or something. But I think she's a good role model because her daughter's pregnant, and men find women attractive when they're pregnant. <laughs> Sarah Palin is a freaking bitch. Oh boy. She don't know what she's doing. And it's between her and a nigger, and I don't care. Wow. I ain't voting anyway. A retarded kitty is a fucking... Uh, I'm fucking retarded. I'd be better off being president. At least I know what's wrong with the fucking world. Her pregnant fucking daughter ends up probably getting pregnant and putting some stone herself. All they do is fucking sell their fucking body thinking they're cunts are made out of gold. Well, there you have it. That's wow. how the whack pack weighing in on this.